Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Dragon Ball. Double Gate. Opening with Wiss Invasion and Prisoner Eating. Chapter 81. Seeing the two agreed, Su Ming nodded slightly. Okay, it's decided. You transport the Dragon Ball to the seventh universe. If I want to go in the next two days, I will let Wiss notify you. Okay. Beidos nodded, already looking forward to it. Then he said to Champa. Master Champa, let's go. Champa nodded, and then flew back to the audience seats of the sixth universe with Beidos. Originally, he was in a good mood at the moment. But seeing Gabe's depressed people, he got angry again. You rubbish. Just destroy them. He condensed destructive energy again, wanting to destroy a few people. But Beidos stopped him and said. Master Champa, forget it. The power tournament will be held soon, and they can make up for their mistakes. Besides, it's hard for us to find suitable people to participate. If you destroy them, the chances of winning the power tournament will be reduced. Hearing this, Champa gritted his teeth, and the destructive energy in his palm disappeared. Then he said coldly to them. I'll let you go this time. You've heard it too, Master Zeno will hold a power tournament soon. Don't blame me if you lose the game again. If he could find more suitable contestants. Maybe he would just destroy them. At most, Hit would be left. But the sixth universe couldn't find anyone stronger than them for the time being. So he could only bear it and let them go for the time being. Several people breathed a sigh of relief, and their faces were relieved. This was considered saving a life. Facing the gods of destruction, they had no resistance. Humph. Champa snorted coldly, remember your words. Then he looked at Beidos, let's go, Beidos. He must do well what Su Ming told him. Otherwise, he was afraid that Su Ming would not take him to the world of food. Beidos nodded. Then he flew high into the sky with Champa. Transport the six Super Dragon Balls to the seventh universe. After seeing them transport the Super Dragon Balls, Su Ming also spoke to everyone. Let's go, everyone, please go back. Everyone nodded. And this time Su Ming no longer let Wis use the shuttle cube to carry. Instead, he used instant transmission to take everyone away directly. Because there was a target location, Su Ming could teleport directly. Swish. In an instant, he took everyone and disappeared into the world of nothingness and returned to Earth. After returning to Earth, Su Ming said a few words to everyone and left. Probably if he wanted to go to the food world, he would notify them. As for the power conference and the other Super Dragon Ball, it was not so urgent for Su Ming, so he ignored it for the time being. Two days passed quickly. In these two days, the task of Century Soup was finally completed. And the reward for completing the task was 2000 times without side effects Kaioken. All these are rewards for increasing strength, and Su Ming is quite satisfied. Just do some tasks easily, and your strength will increase rapidly. It won't take long for him to be really invincible. This task has been completed. Su Ming also checked the new tasks. And the new task is. Scare a fried apple to more than 90 fright points and eat it. Su Ming knows something about the fried apple. He is also certain that he can complete this task. And today, he finally plans to go to do this task. But before going, he has to take Bulma and the others with him. After all, he promised them to take them with him. But it's also because he promised them. Su Ming has been a little annoyed these past two days. These people contact him every hour. They are afraid that he will not take them with him, or that he will go secretly by himself. Su Ming is speechless and annoyed about this. This time, he should not be annoyed if he takes them with him. With this in mind, Su Ming directly took out the communication glass bead that Wis gave him. He wanted to contact Wis and let Wis notify those people. Unexpectedly, as soon as Su Ming took out the communication bead. The communication bead lit up, and the noisy voices of Wis and Bulma and others came. Su Ming, have you eaten today? Su Ming was speechless about this. He knew the intentions of these guys. These guys were afraid of annoying him, so they didn't ask directly about the food world. They used other things as a cover, such as greetings or something, just like now asking if he had eaten. Su Ming responded unhappily, Okay, notify people to gather, and set off today. Okay. The excited and decisive voices of Wiss and his group came from the other side. It must be very painful for these two days. 
After hanging up the phone, Su Ming was not in a hurry to meet up with these people. Because it would take some time for them to gather and wait for others. If Su Ming went there, he didn't know what to do. It happened that he was fishing now, so he would fish for a while before going. It was also very fast. Su Ming felt that the time was about right, so he put away the fishing rod. He stretched his waist, it was almost time. Now go and meet up with those guys. Quote. Muttering in his mouth, Su Ming used instant transmission with a thought. Swish. He disappeared from the spot in just a swish. When he appeared again, he was already in front of Wis Bulma and the others. Seeing Su Ming coming, everyone showed surprise. Su Ming, you are here. Su Ming nodded slightly, glanced at everyone, and asked. Is everyone here? Bulma, who had already checked, scanned and checked again. Finally, the result was, everyone is here. In that case, we are ready to set off. Quote. But before that, Su Ming had to say. But before we set off, I have to make some things clear. I can take you there, but there are some rules that must be followed. Once you get to that world, listen to me. You can't mess around and do whatever you want. If you can accept it, then I can take you there. This kind of rule is not considered a rule for many people. But it is difficult for some people with high status and strong self-esteem to accept it. For example, Champa may not be able to follow it. Even if he agrees now, it's hard to say when he gets there. Su Ming also knows that there will be such people, and added. Also, you can also not follow it. But I can kick you out of that world at any time. And from then on, don't even think about having a chance to enter again. Okay, I'll give you a minute to think about it. Give me your answer in a minute. If you can follow it, I can take you there. In the world of captives, Su Ming must take the lead. Because it's others who ask him, not him asking others. In fact, many people don't need to think about it and can abide by it. It's just that one or two people have self-esteem and need some time to convince themselves. Of course, among these one or two people, Beerus and the others who have been there before have been excluded. Because Beerus and Vegeta have already convinced themselves. As for Wis and Son Goku, there is no need to consider them. In front of delicious food, face and self-esteem are worthless. Soon. A few minutes passed. Su Ming spoke again. How is it? Have you considered it? If you think you can't abide by it, say it now. But no one spoke. Obviously they all accepted it. Compared with self-esteem, they want to go to that fantasy food world more. Besides, Su Ming's rules are not rules in a sense. It's just that some people with strong self-esteem can't accept it. Seeing that no one spoke, Su Ming continued. Since you can abide by it, then get ready. Let's go now. Okay. They said in unison. They all showed their anticipation and were already extremely fascinated. Su Ming stopped talking nonsense and said in his heart. System, teleport me and the people in front of me to the world of food captives. The coordinates are still the coordinates sent before. The reason for choosing that coordinate. Because the food there is richer. Since we are taking these people there, let's give them a good experience. Therefore, places with rich food can open the door to their new world. System. Okay, master. Start teleporting now, please get ready, master. As the voice of the system came out, an invisible force enveloped everyone. Making everyone dizzy and unconsciously closing their eyes and holding their foreheads. At this moment, they disappeared in the Dragon Ball world. When the dizziness disappeared, they came to the world of food captives. The moment they opened their eyes. Except for Su Ming who had been here before Beerus and his friends. They all froze, their expressions were extremely wonderful. Rainbow fructose everywhere, flying butterfly potato chips, dandelion marshmallows everywhere, roasted whole pigs running around with fragrance, a whole milk river with cheese floating on it, giant cakes like mountains, even the ground they stepped on was chocolate blocks, and ready-made fragrant rice bowls hung on the trees, too many to count. And these dreamy and unrealistic scenes were all in their eyes. If it were just a scene, it would be fine. The key is that these fantastic scenes exude real smells. And these smells are all aromas that can hit the top of the head. Just smelling them, at the least, they swallowed their saliva constantly. At the worst, they drooled from the corners of their mouths. They stared straight at these unreal scenes. It was only after a few minutes that someone murmured. 
Is this, is this really true? Is there really such a place in this world? Of course it's true. Wis said with a smile, then walked forward a few steps, bent down to pick a dandelion marshmallow, put it to his mouth and ate it, his expression immediately became intoxicated, his body swayed left and right like a pendulum, making, hum 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 hum, sounds of enjoyment. Seeing this scene, everyone no longer believed it. It was hard to resist this temptation. Even if it was just a dream, it would take some time to sink into it. Let me try it too. Bald Klin immediately walked to Weiss's side, bent down and imitated Wiss to pick a dandelion marshmallow, put it to his mouth and didn't rush to eat it, but smelled it first. But this smell made him open his eyes wide, as if he was hit by something. That feeling was wonderful. Without any hesitation, he immediately took a big bite. The moment he bit it, his pupils shrank again. That taste, soft and fluffy, a direct critical hit. Then he chewed again. But every time he chewed, his pupils shrank. Or it could be said that it was in. Each climax was stronger than the last. It was so wonderful that it was beyond words. After swallowing it, it was a huge climax. It made Krillin shout loudly. Good. Delicious. Extremely delicious. After the voice came out, he immediately put it in his mouth and continued to enjoy it. Seeing this, Bulma, Champa and others couldn't sit still. They quickly bent down and picked a dandelion marshmallow each. Then they put it in their mouths and experienced the same climax as Krillin. After a while, they also spoke out their feelings loudly. Dot. It's really, extremely delicious. This. It's really super delicious. Ah. Delicious, delicious, delicious. These are not what they want to say. It's the feeling that the body emits after enjoying it. Dandelion marshmallows directly hit them with a dimensionality reduction attack. Marshmallows are desserts that they have eaten before. Except for the rainbow fruit pudding that Wiss gave. The rest are all not worth mentioning, not even qualified for comparison. Dandelion marshmallows are not only delicious. It can also bring the ultimate enjoyment to the senses. This feeling has never been experienced in the delicacies they have eaten. And this is the difference. Under this deliciousness, several people also worked very hard. After a while, all the dandelion marshmallows around were plucked bare. This made them stop temporarily. Then they changed their target and looked at another delicacy. Look, what is that? It was the bald Klin who spoke. He found a tree. And on this tree, there was actually steaming leg root meat. Hearing the sound, everyone looked over. Then they were all surprised. Is that really meat? They didn't believe that a big tree could grow leg root meat. The key is that it is cooked if it is steaming. This directly subverted their cognition and worldview. Su Ming on the side said. This is a tree called, leg root tree. The leg root meat hanging on the tree can all be eaten. Quote. And it doesn't need to be cooked. Quote. Su Ming can check this information on the system panel. Thai root tree. Can it be eaten directly? Krillin and the others all changed their expressions and became fanatical. They wanted to rush up and bite it. Let's try it, it looks delicious. Without any hesitation, everyone walked over quickly. When they arrived in front of the leg root tree, they could smell an indescribable meaty aroma. This meaty aroma was seducing their souls. It made many of them drool unconsciously. Those who didn't drool were deliberately controlled. This meaty aroma made them unable to resist. Then Son Goku flew up and came to two meters away. He broke off a thigh meat, which was about 10 kilograms. The surface of the meat was dripping with tempting gravy and was burnt yellow. Lida. But that kind of burnt was not burnt. It was like a special sauce was applied on it, and you wanted to bite it just by looking at it. And Son Goku naturally couldn't help it. He bit the thigh meat in his hand while drooling. He bit into a large piece of it, and his cheeks bulged. It even looked like an inflated balloon. But that's not important. What's important is. This thigh meat is delicious. Son Goku chewed it a few times, and his mouth sweated. It was rich and full, and it went straight to the top of his head, and he couldn't help but close his eyes. The taste was also excellent, not only the mouth was enjoyed. Even every part of the body was enjoyed and satisfied. Seeing Son Goku like this. Champa and the others knew without thinking that it must be delicious. They couldn't sit still. They all rose to a height of 2 meters. Because the thigh meat grows above 2 meters. People who can't fly or also wish used his ability to fly. 
After arriving, each of them broke off a thigh meat. The weight was about 10 kilograms. Without any hesitation, they all took a big bite. Then they chewed. Without any surprise, their pupils shrank sharply. They also received a wonderful shock, and then closed their eyes. They enjoyed it like Sun Goku. After swallowing, they clenched their fists again and burst out with feelings. Delicious. 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 No matter what kind of food, it is a dimensionality reduction attack on them. Especially for Vados and Champa said. These two people really haven't eaten anything good. Now eating these delicacies, it's really a super dimensionality reduction attack. And the feeling of exploding after eating is also the strongest and loudest. After eating for a while. I am a big eater, I can basically finish a leg. I am not a big eater, but I also ate a few pounds. Although the stomach of this person who has eaten a few pounds feels full, he still wants to continue eating. There is an impulse to continue eating even if the stomach bursts. These delicacies have this kind of temptation. But at this moment, the clear sky began to darken. Everyone looked up at the sky. Is it going to rain? But the dark clouds above are so strange. They found that this was different from the black bird clouds they usually saw. These dark clouds were actually dark red. Soon, while they were surprised, the sky began to rain heavily. But the rain was not transparent and colorless. Instead, it was very similar to the dark red color of the dark clouds. These dark red raindrops hit everyone's body. Re. Why does this smell so good? Bulma said in disbelief. It seems to be the fragrance of sour plums. Everyone also noticed it. Indeed, it is really the fragrance of sour plums. Clint even dripped some into his mouth and said in surprise. This rain is delicious. Sweet and sour. Everyone hurriedly imitated and tasted it. Finally found that it was really delicious. It was like a sour plum juice drink, and it was super delicious. Su Ming on the side explained. Actually, this is plum juice rain. It's a natural plum drink. The key is that it can help people digest quickly, it's a very good drink. Who of you wants to digest quickly, you can drink it. If you don't want to digest quickly, I don't recommend drinking it. Because, after drinking it, it will really digest quickly. Su Ming, who has a system encyclopedia, naturally knows about these things. This made everyone curious and interested. Is it really that magical? Bald Krillin didn't quite believe how fast it could be digested. Let me try. Then he raised his head and opened his mouth, and directly caught the plum rain with his mouth. It was raining heavily. He opened his mouth and caught a full mouthful in a few seconds. Then he drank it directly. He stopped after drinking several big mouthfuls in a row. Then he felt himself and his bulging stomach. It doesn't seem as magical as you say, Su Ming. Everyone looked at Krillin's stomach, and there was no change at all. They all thought that Su Ming was exaggerating a bit. But just when they had this thought, they saw that the bulging round belly of Tulin flattened directly as if it had leaked air. At the same time, he made a gurgling sound of hunger. This made everyone stare. Flattened, flattened. Klin himself suddenly felt a strong sense of hunger. It's really all digested, I'm so hungry now. Klin's drooping face showed that he wanted to eat. Su Ming added. This sour plum rain can not only be digested quickly. And it will convert what you eat into power. You can avoid the step of excretion. After hearing this, Klin felt himself. In addition to the feeling of hunger, he could indeed feel that he was very strong. Just as Su Ming said. There was no feeling of wanting to excrete. The stomach felt empty. This. It's amazing. I didn't expect there would be such rain. Klin couldn't help but exclaimed. In this way, can we eat delicious food at will? Bulma seemed to have discovered a new world, and said in surprise. Just drink this sour plum rain when you are full. Not only can it help digestion quickly, but it can also strengthen yourself. That's right. Yamcha was also very excited. Just now I was too full and wanted to continue eating for fear of bursting my stomach, but now I don't have to worry at all. As he said that, he immediately raised his head and opened his mouth to receive the sour plum rain. He also gulped down a few big mouthfuls. Then two or three seconds later, the bulging stomach flattened. The body was full of strength, but the feeling of hunger increased. It's really amazing. Then Bulma and the others hurried to drink. The more reserved ones used a cup to receive it before drinking. 
but most people just tilted their heads back and opened their mouths to continue drinking. And the effect of drinking is the same as that of krill and yamcha. The bulging stomach suddenly flattened, increasing the hunger. Except for Wisvedos and the others who have special abilities. Everyone here, will not refuse this kind of sour plum rain that can be digested quickly. After all, they do not have special abilities to make the food they eat digest quickly or disappear, they only experience the process of eating. Although some of them are big eaters. But big eaters seem small and not enough in this world. It is difficult to finish these delicacies even with a big stomach. The key is to want to continue eating after eating too much, without a trace of tiredness. It is not like eating normally, which reduces the desire to eat. These do not exist in these delicacies. Therefore, the sour plum rain can make them really enjoy eating. Let's collect some. This sour plum rain can't keep falling, and we don't know when it will fall. If you want to continue drinking, it's best to collect it now. Bulma made a suggestion, and everyone nodded in agreement. Then they started to take out containers to collect them. Most of them came prepared. They all brought a lot of things to pack delicious food. And most of them were universal containers invented by Bulma. Convenient and can hold a lot. But compared to these containers, Wis and Beto's are much stronger. They waved their scepters directly. Most of the sour plum rain was collected in a certain space. If that amount does not deteriorate or something, then the people here can drink it continuously for many years. It's so exaggerated. This operation also stunned Bulma and others. Originally, they thought that the universal capsule container they brought was already very perverted. But they didn't expect that Vedos and Wis were even more perverted. Directly intercepted most of the sour plum rain. You can just pack up the whole planet. Everyone couldn't help but complain in their hearts. But then again, if those two guys really want to pack up the planet, they can do it. If it weren't for Su Ming, they really thought about packing up the whole planet and bringing it back to the Dragon Ball world. After collecting for a few minutes, the sour plums suddenly stopped, and the dark red clouds in the sky also disappeared. The sky returned to the clear sky just now, and it was peaceful. It was as if it had not rained just now. This made everyone feel incredible again. This world is so wonderful. What is over there? At this time, Tian Xinhan suddenly found that there was a milky white liquid flowing slowly not far away, which looked like milk to the naked eye. And there was something like cheese floating on the white liquid. Let's go and take a look. Everyone was very curious and immediately flew over. Soon, they came to the river channel with white liquid flowing. When approaching, they could smell the rich milky fragrance. This milky fragrance was very heady, and people suddenly had an appetite. Is this milk? Looking at the whole milky white liquid, everyone's eyes became hot. This is too dreamy and incredible. They dare not do this in their dreams. Is it true? You will know if you try it. Su Ming spoke, not everything he wanted to popularize. Besides, it smelled and looked obviously milk. Okay. Let's try it. Yamcha was the first to walk to the edge, scooped up some with his hands and poured it into his mouth. Suddenly, his pupils suddenly widened. It was as smooth as silk, full and rich, and the mouth was massaged to the extreme. The key is that the taste is good, sweet and not greasy. It is also a wonderful enjoyment. After swallowing, the intestines are also massaged. It feels like sliding down a milk slide. This made Yamcha couldn't help but shout. This is really milk. And it's delicious. It's delicious. Then he didn't care too much, crawled down directly, buried his mouth directly into the milk river, and drank it. Beerus and the others behind him were still calm. Is it, a milk river? Then I'll try it too. Me too. This must not be missed. They all approached the edge of the milk river. Some imitated Yamcha and crawled on their stomachs to drink. Some drank from containers. Some drank directly with their hands. But without exception, no one did not participate. They stood aside for less than a minute. They were fascinated by the rich milky aroma. If they did not want to see how Yamcha felt after drinking, they would have started drinking. And now Yamcha gave them satisfactory feedback. With psychological expectations, they would be more looking forward to it and want to drink it. After tasting it one by one, they also experienced the silky feeling of Yamcha just now. This is completely different from the milk they drank before. The milk they drink now. 
The taste is unknown how many times better than before. Simply put, it is a dimensionality reduction attack. After drinking this kind of milk, let them go back to drink the milk before, it is estimated that it will be difficult to swallow. This is the difference between the two types of milk. You can also say, the same category of food. The food in the food world is more delicious than the food in the Dragon Ball world. Gurgle gurgle. I was quite reserved when I started drinking just now. CBED. After tasting the delicious taste, I just drank it in big gulps. In just a few minutes, the stomach that had just been flattened swelled up again. Because they were too full, most people had to stop drinking for the time being. The rest of them continued to drink. Because it was really delicious and smooth. As long as you don't stop, you can feel like you are sliding down the milk slide, enjoying the extreme smooth pleasure, and it is difficult to get out of it. But as they continued to drink, there were a few milky white fish jumping up and down in the middle of the milk river. Just a glance, it felt very tempting. They didn't expect that there were fish in this milk river. And the fish looked delicious. Champa stopped drinking milk and turned to Su Ming and asked. Um, can those fish that jumped up just now be eaten? Everyone also stared at Su Ming, also wanting to know if they could eat it. Because just seeing it just now made me hungry. I also want to try this fish that grows in the milk river. Su Ming said, of course. This fish is also called milk fish, and it tastes delicious. Hearing this, everyone's eyes lit up. They yearned for this milk fish. Well, let me catch a few. Champa said, and jumped directly into the milk river. Bang. He plunged directly into the milk river and swam to chase the jumping fish. In fact, there are many more convenient ways to eat this milk fish. But Champa's purpose, is not just to catch fish. He wants to experience swimming in this delicious and silky milk river. Catch some fish for fun. He was seen swimming around in the milk river. He was so happy chasing the jumping milk fish. Little fish, don't run away, let me eat you. Gah, don't run. Everyone was shaken by seeing Champa so happy. Several people followed him down. I'll go down and help. I'm the best at catching fish. Little fish, here I come. These people are Krillin and Son Goku. They also took off their clothes, leaving only their shorts, and jumped into the milk river. The people on the shore were dumbfounded and speechless. Are you guys trying to catch fish? If you want to take a milk bath, just say so. No matter what the people on the shore think. Son Goku and his friends went down and swam happily. It was the first time in their lives that they swam in milk. The key is that this milk is not ordinary milk. It can be put in any world. People will fight for it and flock to it. But such delicious and precious milk was used by these guys to swim. If people from other worlds really saw them, they would hate them to death. This is a waste of natural resources. But these guys didn't know what wasting natural resources was. They were in it, enjoying the silky smoothness. Smelling the ultimate milky fragrance. After the skin absorbed the milk, it gradually became much more beautiful. This is not only delicious, but also has beauty effects. This was also discovered by Bulma and others on the shore. Look, Clint's skin seems to have become much whiter and tenderer. Well, it seems to be true. This is what women yearn for and are most excited about. Let's go down too. Just now, because everyone was here, I still kept some reserve. Now seeing this effect, I can't help it. This is something women can't resist. After saying that, Bulma hurriedly bought a universal capsule. The capsule immediately turned into a small house. She went inside and changed into a swimsuit. Then she jumped into the milk river under the gaze of everyone. Beidos also changed her bottoms and followed. Vital also went into Bulma's little house to change into swimsuits and follow. As for Chi Chi and other girls, they didn't come. Not all of Z's people came. The three girls bathed in the milk river, talking and laughing. The Milk River set off their curvy figures. The picture was so beautiful that Su Ming couldn't bear to look away. This is definitely a benefit. Ha! I caught one. At this moment, Bald Lin shouted, distracting Su Ming's attention. Su Ming looked at Bald Lin and saw that he had caught a milky white milk fish in his hand. I caught it too. Champa emerged from the milk, holding one in his hand, very proud. The next moment, Tian Xinhan also dived up. I caught two. He held one in each hand, also a little proud. 
it's actually very happy to catch fish in the most common way without using martial arts power. Especially in this kind of milk river. How about we have a competition to see who can catch more? Okay. Let's see who can catch 10 first, and we can't use martial arts power or special abilities. Catch them, who's afraid of who? They are competing, they are men. Let's start. Then the men started the competition to catch fish. It is fair to catch fish only with the most primitive power. It also makes the competition more meaningful. Everyone is very enthusiastic and serious. Because they don't use martial arts power or special abilities. It's not that easy for them to catch milkfish. Son Goku is more experienced. He often catches fish for games since he was a child. He caught seven or eight in a few minutes. Although others also caught some, they only caught one or two. After another minute, Son Goku caught ten directly. I caught ten, everyone. Son Goku smiled with a row of big white teeth, a little proud. The winner was born, and the competition was over. Everyone brought the fish ashore. Then he hurriedly asked Su Ming. Su Ming, how to eat this, can it be eaten directly? In fact, they don't need to ask, just eat it directly. Zero. But the main thing is to know how to eat this thing to make it more delicious. They not only want to eat it, but also want to eat it the best. Su Ming also told the truth, you can eat it directly. But it tastes better if you steam it. Steam it. That's easy. Klin didn't know where he got a steamer from. He just set up a fire on the side and steamed the milk fish. Champa and the others waited in agony. They really wanted to eat this milk fish quickly. Because just looking at the appearance can arouse a strong appetite. After steaming for one or two minutes, they smelled a rich milky fragrance. The taste was simply amazing and very addictive. It also made them swallow their saliva. To exaggerate, saliva was already flowing from the corners of their mouths. They waited in agony for a few minutes. Su Ming said, it's almost done, you can eat it. Hearing this, everyone stood up and gathered around the steamer. Each of them waited for the steamer lid to be opened with burning eyes. Under their burning eyes, Klin said. Then everyone, I'm going to open it. Then he reached out and took off the steamer lid. The milky white, steaming, white and tender milk fish was immediately revealed. It looked very tender and smooth, and the milk fragrance was also stimulated to be more fragrant. This made everyone swallow their saliva faster and faster. The amount of drooling people also increased. Is this the steamed milk fish? It looks so tempting. Everyone, let's do it. They no longer had the patience. They took the plates and each served a milk fish. The milk fish was not big, only about two or three pounds. But there were quite a few here, enough for each person. Even if it was not enough, there were still many in the milk river. But now they couldn't wait to catch more. After each person served one, they immediately started to eat. Some used their hands as tableware. The more reserved ones would use the knife and fork they brought. But the speed of using knife and fork is obviously not as fast as eating directly with hands. And the fastest ones here. They are Beerus, Son Goku, Champa, and Vegeta. As soon as the fish was served in the bowl, they grabbed it with their hands. They didn't care whether it was hot or not, or whether it looked good. Of course, this was not a problem for them at all. As for the image, it was not worth mentioning in front of the food. Several people put the white, tender and fragrant fish meat into their mouths at the same time. The moment they put it in, they could feel a softness. The softness made the tongue extremely comfortable. After chewing, the meat was very tender and smooth, without a trace of fishy smell. The rich, sweet, mellow taste made people's scalp tingle. After swallowing it, it was another feeling. There was a pleasure of rushing down from a milk waterfall. That kind of pleasure made people soar into the sky. And this kind of pleasure, people can't help but burst out. Ah. It's wonderful. Silky. Incomparable. Aha. It's slipping and slipping. Seeing the exaggerated appearance of several people. Betos and other reserved people didn't care too much. Speed up and put the milky white and tender fish meat into your mouth to chew. And there is no need to think, they experience the pleasure of Beerus and others. How wonderful it is. The whole person seems to be sliding in the silky. The rich milk fragrance wrapped around their bodies, making them reluctant to withdraw. After a while, these milk fish were eaten up. But this is not enough. 
they continued to catch and eat. And with the help of sour plum rain, they couldn't eat too much. Completely immersed in the soft and silky world. An hour later, Clint seemed to have discovered something, and suddenly exclaimed in surprise, Everyone, look, the pig running over there is steaming. This voice also pulled everyone back from the beauty. They all followed Krillin's gaze. But they found hundreds of roasted whole pigs running around. They were surprised because they had never seen such creatures. Because the roasted whole pigs were steaming, the meat looked more cooked. The key was that there was sauce flowing on it. They didn't expect that this cooked thing would move. This directly refreshed their worldview. But after thinking about it, this world is originally a dreamy fantasy. It doesn't seem strange that such creatures would appear. But whether such creatures can be eaten is what they care most about. Then Tian Shinhan asked the question they wanted to ask. Can those steaming pigs be eaten? Everyone looked at Su Ming, thinking that only he could answer. Before he could speak, Wis answered first. Of course you can eat it, and you can eat it directly without cooking. The taste is also superb. After speaking, he closed his eyes unconsciously. Thinking back to the taste he had eaten before, he still can't forget it now. Really? Then let me eat them. Champa said with a somewhat evil face. Then he quickly flew into the group of roasted whole pigs. He dodged behind a roasted whole pig. He held the roasted whole pig with both hands and bit down on the buttocks. Puff. The moment he bit down, the meat juice splashed. He could really smell the rich aroma of roasted meat. But the next moment, before he could tear it into his mouth, it turned into a burnt smell. The bitten meat was bitter, so Champa unconsciously opened his mouth. Bye Bibe. He spit a few times and said angrily, this is not delicious either. Could it be that Wis guy deliberately deceived me? He clenched his fists and was about to curse in the direction of Wis. But before he could say anything, Wis's voice came. Master Champa, you can't chase after the roasted whole pig and eat it. You won't be able to eat the delicious food that way. Champa was puzzled. Didn't he just say that he could eat it directly? Now he said that he couldn't chase after it and eat it. Is there something else? Just as he was wondering, Wiss and his men also flew into the air. Wiss continued. Master Champa, if you want to eat these roasted whole pigs, you must kill them with one strike. Otherwise, if they get angry, the temperature of their bodies will rise instantly. It will burn their bodies directly and they will be inedible. Champa took a look at the roasted whole pig that he was pressing down. It was indeed as Wiss said, the temperature had risen. But he was too strong to pay attention. He could not feel it at all. When Wiss said this, he suddenly realized. So that's why, the amines are burnt and bitter. Then, this time, we must kill them with one strike. As he said this, he looked at the other roasted whole pig that was not angry. Then he appeared in front of the roasted whole pig in a flash. His hand was in the shape of a knife, and he gently chopped off the other's head. The action was smooth. It looked light, but the impact was very strong. The invisible impact force directly penetrated the head of the roasted whole pig. The roasted whole pig was killed without even screaming. After confirming that it had been killed, Champa was about to bite it to see if it was still burnt and bitter like before. Wiss stopped him and said, Master Champa, you can't eat here. It will make the other roasted whole pigs angry, and they will burn them all and waste them. Let's eat somewhere else. Quote, there was no other way, Champa also lifted up the dead roasted whole pig and opened the air. Then he and Wiss flew away from here. They found a place with a beautiful environment to land. Bulma smashed a large dining table with the universal capsule. Then let Champa put down the whole roasted pig. After putting down the roasted whole pig, Champa couldn't help it. He cut off a thigh with his hand knife and started to bite it. This also stunned everyone and made them speechless. They were thinking of cutting it up before eating. Unexpectedly, this guy was so anxious. But someone opened a precedent. Son Goku Vegeta and the others didn't care so much. They also cut off a thigh or a big piece of meat and started to bite it. They ate it with their mouths full of oil. But they didn't care, the roasted whole pig meat was delicious. Among the barbecues they had eaten, this was the most delicious. Even those barbecues they had eaten were not worthy of comparison. Delicious, delicious, delicious. While they were biting, words of praise came out of their mouths. Bulma and the others could no longer hold back. They started eating like these guys. 
Without exception, they all experienced unprecedented deliciousness. Even Wis and Su Ming had eaten it before. Now eating it for the second time, it was still delicious. The cells in their bodies danced wildly. In a short while, the whole roasted pig weighing several tons was finished. But they were still not satisfied. Son Goku Champa and his men continued to hunt and kill seven or eight pigs and brought them back. And after this hunt, they went even further. Except for some people from Bulma. Son Goku Champa and his men bought them one by one. They just picked them up and gnawed them like that, which was totally unpresentable. But they didn't care about their image at all at this time. They were completely immersed in the enjoyment of the taste buds and senses brought by the roasted whole pig. Every bite brought a wonderful impact to the brain. This wonderful impact made it impossible for them to stop. It was also half an hour later. The roasted whole pigs brought back were also swept away. They ate the roasted whole pigs while drinking sour plum rain. In this cycle, they would not feel full at all, and they did not need to excrete. They were just enjoying the wonderful process. After eating, they brought back these seven or eight pigs. Su Ming felt that it was almost enough, and interrupted their enjoyment. It's almost enough, everyone. Since you have come to this world, I will also take you to meet some friends in this world. Among those friends, there are chefs with superb cooking skills. Quote. These delicacies will be more delicious after they are cooked. Su Ming did not just bring them here to enjoy. He still had system tasks to complete, so he could not continue to enjoy. Besides, compared to these delicacies, he wanted to take these people to taste the real delicacies. That was the century soup that Song had already cooked. I wonder what kind of expression they would have by then. After Su Ming said this, everyone stopped their actions. Sun Goku smiled and asked. Su Ming, are those friends you are talking about Song Uru and the others? Su Ming nodded, yes. According to the time, Song should have cooked the century soup. Quote. Century soup. Sun Goku immediately became enthusiastic. Of course, it was not just him, but also Beerus and Whis. They were all people who had tasted the century soup. They still remember the delicious taste. But Bulma and the others did not know what the century soup was. Seeing the enthusiastic expressions of Sun Goku and the others, Krillin asked in confusion. What is the century soup? Is it a delicious soup? Sun Goku's enthusiasm became even stronger, and he replied. Yes. It is the best and most delicious soup in the world. Super 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 delicious. As he said this, he recalled the wonderful feeling again. For a moment, he fell into hysteria again, and his face looked a little stupid. Krillin and the others felt that this was a bit exaggerated. Is it really that delicious? Is it so delicious that you become stupid just by thinking about it? He did not believe this. Wis nodded and said, if you can drink it, you will know how Goku feels now. It's really super super delicious. As he said this, even he became a little dazed. This made Klin and his people more curious and looking forward to the soup. In that case, please take us to drink it, Su Ming. Klin asked. Okay, I was planning to take you there to try it. Then, come closer and put your hands on my shoulders. Everyone nodded. They knew that Su Ming was going to use instant transmission to take them there. Soon, they put their hands on each other's shoulders. Su Ming closed his eyes and began to look for the aura of Song and the others. And soon, he found it. Then, let's go. As soon as he finished speaking, he thought about it and disappeared from the spot with everyone when he appeared again. But he had arrived at a height of 10,000 meters. What caught his eye was a giant vine plant. Growing from the ground 10,000 meters below. And Su Ming and the others were not at the end here. Looking up, there was no end in sight, as if it was endless. There were two figures climbing on the vines. Su Ming, Sun Goku and the others recognized who the two were at a glance. Song, Uru. That's right, the two people climbing on the vines were Uru and Song. Hearing this, Song and Uru immediately turned their heads and looked at everyone. They didn't know most of them. But they knew Su Ming and a few others. Mr. Su Ming, Mr. Sun Goku, Mr. Vegeta, and Lord Beerus. Song was surprised and delighted. I didn't expect that Su Ming and his people could come here. Sun Goku hurriedly asked. Song, Uru, how did you climb up here? Everyone was also very curious, this is 10,000 meters high. 
Xiao Song replied with a smile. Zero. I'm going to find a kind of vegetable called ozone grass with Mr. Uru. Uru also agreed with a smile. Yes, ozone grass is the best food among vegetables. The purpose of our coming today is to capture it. Ozone grass. Delicious vegetables. Sun Goku scratched his head, looked up and said. Is there really ozone grass you set up there? In any case, it was hard for him to believe it. Plants and vegetables can grow above 10,000 meters. Although this world is indeed different. But the previous worldview cannot be changed all at once. Uru smiled and said, actually, this is my first time here. But I heard from the old man that this kind of food does exist up there. Old man, are you talking about Mr. Yilong? Son Goku guessed who the old man Uru was talking about. Uru nodded and said, that's right, it's Mr. Long. He has been here before and has eaten the delicacy called ozone grass. He told me to come here this time. I see. Son Goku had to believe it and said, if it is Mr. Yilong, then there may really be the ozone grass you mentioned. As for Yilong's character, Son Goku believes that he will not lie. Then he looked at Xiao Song and asked with a smile. Xiao Song, did you succeed in making the century soup? The century soup is what he has been thinking about. Xiao Song said decisively. Success. It succeeded yesterday. Then he looked at Su Ming with a grateful look and continued. This is also thanks to Mr. Su Ming who told me that the penguin saliva is the key material, otherwise it would not be made so quickly. Mr. Su Ming, thank you. You're welcome. Su Ming said lightly. I entrusted you to make the century soup. That little help is nothing. Besides, you can only make it with your strength. If it were someone else, even if they told them the key, they might not be able to make it successfully. This is not a compliment, but the truth. After all, even a national treasure like GNI couldn't make it after several years. If it were an ordinary chef, the chance of making it successfully would be almost zero. But Xiao Song is different. He has great potential in cooking. In addition, he has a high food luck, so he will be more likely to succeed in cooking. Of course, this time, the penguin saliva given by Su Ming also worked. That is, it accelerated the time for Xiao Song to make it successfully. Xiao Song didn't know this, but he felt that Su Ming was complimenting him. He scratched his forehead with some enjoyment, laughed, and said modestly. Mr. Su Ming, you are too kind. Actually, I just succeeded by luck. Su Ming nodded slightly, and didn't want to continue talking about this topic. He looked up and then at Alu and Xiao Song and said, let us help you. Let's fly up together. Since we are here, Su Ming will naturally go up to see what the sky vegetables look like. In the original book, he also likes this place very much. Xiao Song was happy and quickly responded, okay. Alu hesitated before nodding. His purpose of coming here is not only for the ozone grass. He also came to train himself. Because Yilong told him that he wanted to go to the food world. Then he would climb from the ground to the sky vegetables and eat the ozone grass. The harshness of the environment on the way is similar to that of the food world, which is very good for training people. He can adapt to the harsh environment here. Only by going to the food world can he adapt to the three. However, the arrival of Su Ming and his group at this moment made it impossible for him to continue training. Besides, he had already climbed more than 10,000 meters. He had basically experienced the harsh environment. He also got some training. Even if he didn't continue climbing the road behind, it shouldn't be a problem. At worst, he could just go back and come back for the second time. Seeing Uru nod, Su Ming looked at Wis, Wis. Wis understood and waved the scepter at Uru and Xiao Song. The next moment, the two floated up. The two were not surprised. Because this method was not the first time they had experienced it. Seeing that the two had floated up, Su Ming said. Then, let's go up. Then, everyone floated up along the vines. After flying up for 2,000 meters, they had reached the top. At the top, at a glance, there were clouds floating. And a vast grassland, all green and pleasing to the eye. Everyone landed on the grass. But they could feel a soft feeling coming from their feet. To put it more precisely, it is like stepping on a sponge. Very soft, very comfortable. Not only is it comfortable underfoot, the air is also very fresh. It is much fresher than the air on the ground. 
As soon as everyone arrived here, their mood unconsciously improved a lot. So comfortable. Wow, so difficult. I didn't expect that there would be such a place in the sky so high. Bulma and the others were shocked by this place. Who dared to imagine the grassland above the clouds? It was like a painting. The softness of the ground made everyone sit down and feel it. Some even lay down. So soft. So comfortable. They even felt that it was more comfortable than the soft big bed at home. Softness and comfort are fine. The key is that the air here is really fresh. It can make people eliminate all fatigue and forget all worries. There is no noise or pressure. At this moment, the soul is comforted and calm as water. Some people even, 980, comfortably closed their eyes and wanted to fall asleep. Because this feeling is too comfortable. It is also this kind of comfort. Everyone was not in a hurry to move forward. It was a kind of enjoyment to lie here. They lay there for about 20 minutes. Uru stood up. Everyone, let's move on. It's certainly comfortable here, but the road ahead may give us more surprises. Everyone stood up slowly from comfort. They all nodded, thinking that Uru's words made sense. Besides, they were also looking forward to the things in front of them. It was very comfortable to lie here. But you can't lie down all the time, just be moderate. After everyone stood up, they didn't fly forward. Instead, they walked slowly to explore forward. Because everything here was very new to them. They had never seen many things. They continued to explore and move forward for a thousand meters. They passed through a piece of green plants that blocked their vision by several meters. Then they came to a place full of various vegetables. A carrot was more than 10 meters high. A tomato could weigh more than 10 tons. A green onion was also dozens of meters high, comparable to a tall building. A pepper also weighed several tons. A large cabbage seemed to cover the sky and block out the sun. Of course, there are not only big and tall ones. There are also normal-sized ones. There is a dazzling array of things that you can't see the end of. All kinds of vegetables in the world grow here. There are countless things that don't exist in the world. To put it simply, it is a vegetable paradise. Seeing the scene in front of them, everyone was stunned. Before they came here, they heard Uru say that it was a vegetable garden. There were many vegetables in it. But they didn't expect that this vegetable garden would be so spectacular. For a moment, they couldn't digest it. What kind of fairy vegetable garden is this? The key is that the fragrance of the vegetables in this vegetable garden is also very tempting. Just smelling it, you can feel a sweetness. And this sweetness is even more refreshing. It makes people feel like they have tasted hundreds of vegetables in an instant. Is this the sky vegetable garden? Good. So spectacular. Xiao Song was the first to speak out. The other stunned people also slowly accepted it. This is simply a vegetable paradise. How can such a place exist? They really can't dream of such a place. Although they know that this world is very dreamy. But when they saw this dream scene with their own eyes, they still couldn't believe it. The shock was very great. The vegetables here are very difficult, right? Krillin spoke, looking at the dazzling array of vegetables in front of him with burning eyes. Uru and his friends couldn't hold back. Everyone, let's go over there. I've heard these vegetables waving at us, let's eat them. Ah, I saw it too, they really waved at us. Me too. There's no good reason, just make one up. Vegetables. I waved at you. But these people didn't care whether they waved or not, they just rushed to the vegetable garden. Like a wild horse running wild, they were galloping. After entering, you can feel that the sweet smell of vegetables is stronger. Just smelling it, the cells in your body are already dancing wildly. Excited and happy. Everyone looked around with enthusiasm. Touching here and looking there, everything is new to them as if they had never seen vegetables before. But you can't blame them. Who said the vegetables here are too dreamy, different from ordinary vegetables? Have you ever seen a cabbage dozens of meters high, bigger than a tall building? Have you ever seen an eggplant weighing more than 10 tons? Bulma and his people obviously haven't. After looking at it for a while, I couldn't help but start tasting it. The vegetables here exude an alluring and soul-stirring scent. No one can resist it. Champa was the first to start. He lay directly on a tomato weighing several tons and started to bite it. After taking a bite, his pupils suddenly widened. The taste was sour and sweet, crisp and refreshing. 
the right amount of sour and sweet, the taste was a critical hit. This is many times more delicious than ordinary tomatoes. Another dimensionality reduction attack on Champa. Crack, crack. After tasting it, Champa bit harder. It was like a bug biting a fruit. There were tooth marks moving forward. From a distance, the scene was even a little funny. But Champa didn't care about it at all, and worked hard to eat and enjoy it. Anyway, in front of these giant tomatoes. They are indeed bugs. Seeing Champa eating so happily, Beerus and others couldn't sit still. They also found their favorite vegetables and started to eat them. Bulma and Xiaosong each picked a cucumber. Put it in their mouths and took a bite to chew. Guiji guiji. Crisp and refreshing, sweet and juicy. Similarly, this cucumber is many times more delicious than the usual cucumbers. There is no way to describe it. If I really want to describe it, it is incomparable. After swallowing it, the two felt a subtle change in their bodies. They couldn't help but look at themselves and each other. But they were surprised to find that their skin became white, tender and smooth. Especially Xiaosong was the most obvious. When he and Aru climbed up, due to the harsh environment and thin air. His skin was dry and dehydrated, and became withered and yellow. That face even looked like a little old man. At the beginning, many people thought he was really a little old man. Later, they learned that it was because of climbing. Now after eating this cucumber, it has transformed directly. Not only did it return to its previous appearance, but the skin became white, tender and smooth, better than some well-maintained women's skin. This cucumber is a perfect skin care product. No. How can skin care products have such miraculous effects? This can be called a magic medicine, and the effect will be seen immediately after taking it. This also made Bulma feel surprised and pleasantly surprised. She couldn't help but shout out. This is really amazing. She attaches great importance to skin care. If there is such a cucumber as a skin care product, then she can always be an 18-year-old girl in the future. Be a woman who will never grow old. For her, this is more joyful than anything else. And her shouting also attracted everyone's attention. Many people gave up eating the vegetables they had at the moment. All gathered together. Bulma, have you found anything good? Klin asked curiously. It must be a good thing that can make Bulma react like this. And everyone likes good things. Bulma was not in a hurry to say, and kept it a secret. Do you see what's different about me? Klin and others looked at her and did find something different. Krillin said in surprise, you seem to be younger. And more tender. I really envy Vegeta. Vegeta's eyes showed murderous intent. Uru also said in disbelief. Xiaosong, you have become smoother and whiter. Is it because of eating that cucumber? Uru saw what was going on at a glance. Xiaosong did not hide it and nodded slightly, yeah. This cucumber has the effect of beautifying the face. After eating it, I became like this. Mr. Uru, everyone, you guys try it too. Uru and the others nodded slightly. Then each picked a cucumber. The first to eat it were Krillin and Tian Shinhan. Seeing that the two of them ate it first, everyone was not in a hurry to eat it. They stared at Krillin and the others, wanting to see if the effect was really that magical. Under the gaze of everyone, Krillin and Tian Shinhan both took a bite. Crack. Then chewed it, crisp and refreshing. Full of juice, all the cells in the body danced at this moment. They seemed to be soaking in a refreshing big bath at this moment. All fatigue was eliminated and full of strength. While feeling this wonderful feeling, Krillin and his skin were visibly changing. From the previous dark yellow to white and smooth. It was the kind of tenderness that would produce water when pinched. The most distinctive and eye-catching thing was the bald heads of the two. At this moment, it was shiny and shiny, and polishing and waxing did not have such an effect. Under the light, it can emit a dazzling light. Bulma and others could not help but cover their eyes with their hands. But this shocked them. It really, really became white and smooth. Good. So magical. Krillin, Tian Shinhan, your heads. Because it was too smooth and white. Son Goku. Couldn't help but touch Krillin's head directly. It feels so good. He laughed. This made Krillin speechless, Goku, stop it. Hee <laughs> hee. This scene made everyone laugh. Now they have confirmed that this cucumber has miraculous effects. One by one, they began to put it in their mouths and taste it. After eating it, without exception, they all changed. 
The skin was white, tender and smooth, the kind that could squeeze out water. After the transformation, they couldn't help but touch their own skin. The touch was really good. In addition to eating, Bulma and the others also packed it. Such good things, it would be unfair not to pack it. Of course, in addition to packing. Bulma also had a bold idea. Whis, everyone, why don't we take some vegetables here back to plant? In the future, we can eat vegetables like this at will. But Krillin's idea was bolder. I think it's better to let Whis take all of them directly. I believe he must have that ability. Then they all looked at Whis to confirm, and Whis also said. It is true that they can take it away, but. But I won't allow it. Su Ming interrupted with a serious face. You can pack a little bit and take it back. But taking the things in this world directly will have an impact. Besides, even if you take them back, these vegetables may not survive. These vegetables need some specific factors to grow. And your world doesn't have them. Su Ming won't let them mess around. Because this kind of mess not only affects this world. It may also affect his system tasks. For example, this planet is missing a lot of things, or is destroyed. Then the difficulty of the tasks issued by the system may be beyond this planet, which is not a good thing for Su Ming. Therefore, until he is sure that it is beneficial to him, he will not let these people mess around. They don't know Su Ming's thoughts. But he also thinks that what Su Ming said makes sense. Krillin scratched his head, it does seem to be the case. I forgot that the two worlds are different. Then, let's give up that unrealistic idea. Next, we just pack it up. Everyone nodded in agreement. But just as they gave up the idea, suddenly, they felt a strong sense of excretion. This. Everyone's face turned blue and wilted. I want to leave for a while. Me too. ETB. Except for those special people like Vado's Wiss. One by one, they quickly left here to release. After a while, they came back to gather. Everyone's face was sweating, as if they had just been through a big battle. Why is this happening? Why are everyone? After coming back, Krillin was the first to speak. Uru explained. This is because the vegetables here are digested and absorbed faster than ordinary vegetables. Quote. It is digested quickly after eating, so. And then everyone knows without saying it, that is, it needs to be excreted. So that's how it is, it's incredible. They felt the magic again. Any delicacy in this world can surprise them. It is also beyond their expectations in 2.1. And this world has also made them fall in love with it deeply. At this time, Krillin suddenly remembered something and said to Uru. That, I remember when we came here, weren't we going to capture that ozone grass? Have you found the vegetable called ozone grass? On the way here. He heard Uru say how delicious it is, that it is the king of vegetables. How can you not try this king of vegetables? After hearing what he said, everyone realized it. They are looking forward to ozone grass. Uru said. I just went to look for it, but I didn't find it. But I guess that ozone grass is not in this area. Maybe, we must search outside to find it. Quote. Before coming, he did some homework. Know what ozone grass looks like. But he didn't find it in this vegetable garden. He can only guess that it is outside the vegetable garden. Isn't it here? Krillin was a little puzzled. Isn't this the vegetable garden? Logically speaking, the king of vegetables should also be here. Bulma and the others nodded, thinking the same way. Piccolo had a different opinion, and said leisurely. Since it is called the king of vegetables, how could it be with these mediocre vegetables? I think it is really in another place. Only then can it be called the king of vegetables. When he said this, everyone thought it was right. Piccolo is right, it seems to be the truth. Yamcha said leisurely. Since it is the king of vegetables, it must have its own style. Even the growing environment may be different. Everyone agreed this time, Uru said. In that case, let's look outside. I believe we can find it. Okay. Everyone nodded. Uru gave everyone a rough description of the appearance of ozone grass. Then the team began to search, some walking, some flying directly. But they all left the vegetable garden and went outside to explore. It didn't take long. Then they heard Song's excited shout. Uru. Everyone. Come here, I found it. Hearing the voice, everyone hurriedly gathered in the direction of Song. When they arrived. But they found that in front of Song. 
there was a vegetable similar to cabbage. But the size was not just the size of an ordinary cabbage. It was more than 10 meters tall and long, and the size was not small. It might take more than a dozen people holding hands to hug it. Seeing the giant vegetable in front of them, everyone's eyes lit up. It's not that they haven't seen this kind of giant vegetable. There were many in the vegetable garden just now. But the giant vegetable in front of them was different from those vegetables just now. It looked more unique. It was also the appearance of the king of vegetables that Aru had described to them. This. Is this the king of vegetables, ozone grass? Aru looked at it and confirmed it, and said with envy. Yes. It is the king of vegetables, ozone grass. It is the king of vegetables and the most delicious vegetable. This deepened everyone's expectations for ozone grass. They couldn't help swallowing their saliva. The vegetables they had eaten in the vegetable garden just now were all very delicious. Then this king of vegetables, it must be delicious enough to make you cry. Thinking of it, one by one, they were eager to move, with a fanatical look on their faces. Champa couldn't help it, the king of vegetables. Then let me eat you, you will feel honored. You are eaten by a god. As he said, a trace of evil appeared at the corner of his mouth, and he immediately ran out. Then he landed directly on the ozone grass. Under the gaze of everyone, he bit the ozone grass. Crack. It also made a crisp sound. But as soon as the sound was made, Champa was stunned. Then his eyes became moist and his face turned blue. Vados, who didn't know what was going on, asked hurriedly, Master Champa, is it delicious? Klin was enthusiastic. It must be delicious, this is the king of vegetables. And I see Master Champa's eyes are moist, he must be crying because of it. But just as he said this, Champa, who was stunned, suddenly made a sound. Ah. So bitter. So smelly. So unpalatable. 21 inches. As he said that, he immediately flew away from the body of the ozone grass. After landing, he looked bitter. He kept spitting and said to Vados, Vados, bring some water. Vados also gave him some sweet water to rinse his mouth. After rinsing several times, he recovered. But he was unhappy and said, what kind of shitty ozone grass is this? It's so unpalatable. This kind of thing should not exist. As he said that, he raised his hand. He was about to destroy the bitter ozone grass with a gas bomb. But he was stopped by Uru. Wait a minute. Champa looked at Uru in confusion. Is it necessary to keep such unpalatable things? Uru said, it's not unpalatable. It's just that you eat it the wrong way. Wrong. Champa wondered, didn't they just eat it directly in the vegetable garden just now? Is there something special about this ozone grass? Uru explained. It's called ozone grass because it really stinks. But it's only the leaves on the surface that stink. That's because the ozone grass grows a kind of protection that makes creatures not want to eat it when they get close to it in order to protect the most delicious ozone heart inside. The ozone heart inside the body is the most delicious. After saying this, everyone understood. No wonder Champa had such a violent reaction. Champa cancelled the energy in his palm, so that's it. But he also felt troubled, hugged his chest and shouted. How can this be the same as the roasted whole pig, so troublesome? Vados laughed and teased on the side. That's because you are too impatient, Master Champa. You always rush up first before everyone finishes talking. Champa looked dissatisfied. What do you mean by too impatient? I did that to help everyone taste it first. This is self-sacrifice and fulfillment for everyone. The people of Gudos were speechless. Only this guy can make impatience sound so noble. And at this time, his IQ has actually increased. This surprised them a little. But everyone didn't care. Because most people know this guy's character. Champa then said. Since it is said that these leaves are to protect the ozone heart inside. Then as long as you peel off these leaves, you will definitely be able to eat the delicious ozone heart inside, right? Uru nodded slightly, theoretically speaking, it's right. Okay. Champa's eyes returned to the ozone grass and said. Then let me peel it for everyone. As he said that, he immediately flew out and landed on the ozone grass again. Then he grabbed the leaf head and pulled it down to peel it off. Swish. Swish. He moved very quickly, and Kusashi peeled off a leaf. But at the moment of peeling it off, the body of the giant ozone grass sprayed a white mist. Then it shrank quickly, like a deflated balloon. 
It shrank from a height of more than 10 meters and turned back into a gray seed of several dozen centimeters. This surprised and puzzled everyone. But while everyone was surprised, Champa looked at the ozone grass that had turned back into a seed. With a fanatical look on his face, this is the delicious ozone heart. Then let me taste it for everyone first. As he said that, he lay down directly. He bit the gray-black ozone grass seed. Crack. As soon as he bit into it, his face turned bitter. And gradually turned ashen, tears flowed from the corners of his eyes. Champa immediately pulled out his mouth and cried. It's so bitter, so bitter, so bitter. Vados, bring some water, quick, quick. Vados, who didn't know what was going on, didn't hesitate and handed Champa sweet water again. Champa also hurried to rinse his mouth. This time he rinsed for a full minute longer than the last time. This allowed Champa to recover. Vados also asked. Master Champa, what's wrong? Everyone was also very curious. Champa was a little angry and said. That ozone grass. It's so disgusting. It's not only bitter but also smelly. It's astringent. And sour. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten in my life. As he said that, he spit a few more times. But this made everyone wonder. Isn't it said that ozone heart is delicious? How could it be like this? Uru stood up to explain. In fact, what he ate just now was not the real ozone heart. It was just that the ozone grass turned back into ozone seeds after being stressed. The real ozone heart can't be unpalatable. Different from the original. Before coming, he did some homework. He also had a certain understanding of ozone grass. After this explanation, everyone understood. It turned out that what Champa ate just now was not the real ozone heart. Clint asked again, but that was not the real ozone heart. Then how can we eat the real ozone heart? Uru explained. It should be that the way the god peeled it just now was wrong. If you want to eat the real ozone heart, you need to peel it in the right way. That's right. Su Ming, who had been silent on the side, also slowly said. Champa's way of peeling the leaves just now was indeed wrong. If you want the ozone grass not to be stressed, you have to peel both leaves at the same time. And the movements must be consistent, not too different. Otherwise, you won't be able to see the ozone heart inside. After learning the reason, everyone suddenly realized. So that's it. Champa said with some blame. But Su Ming, you clearly know these things. Why didn't you say it just now? If he had said it earlier, he wouldn't have to suffer that pain. The leaves and ozone seeds are really unpalatable. Su Ming said. I wanted to say it, but you didn't give me a chance. Besides, didn't you say you would open a way for everyone to test the poison? Why are you blaming me now? This made Champa speechless. He scratched his head, a little embarrassed, and immediately changed the subject. There is no ozone grass now. Quote, if we want to eat it, where else can we find it? This also puzzled everyone. They had been looking for so long and only found this one, and it was Shaosong who found it. Now it would be too difficult to continue looking for another one. They even doubted whether there was any ozone grass left. Maybe the one that was shrinking was the last one. But at this moment, Shaosong stood up and said. I can hear that there should be ozone grass nearby. Everyone keep looking, you must not find it. Here. This surprised Champa. Why can't I hear it? Everyone was also wondering, there was such a thing as hearing it. Shaosong scratched his head, not knowing how to explain it, and just said, I don't know either. Maybe the word, heard, is not used correctly, it should be, feeling. I feel that there is still ozone grass. In fact, he really could hear it. Because he is more sensitive to ingredients and everything. And if he wants to be a top chef, he must be able to listen to the voice of the ingredients in order to cook better. After he said this, everyone understood. Okay, since you feel there is still some. Then let's continue to look for it. To be honest, I feel uncomfortable if I don't eat the ozone grass. Champa scratched his cheek, and he really felt uncomfortable. The harder it is to eat, the more he wants to eat it. Of course, people like Uru also have this mentality. Maybe this is the desire to conquer and the curiosity of people. In this case, let's go. Then everyone continued to split into teams and continued to explore forward. It was also about 10 minutes. Then Shaosong's shouting was heard again. Everyone come. It's ozone grass. 
And, there are so many. The voice was obviously excited. This made everyone who heard the voice quickly move over. When they arrived. But they saw the same ozone grass growing in front of them as they had just seen. But it was not just one, but a whole field, and it was a bit countless. This also made everyone feel a little incredible. There was a contrast. Just now, they only saw one, but now there is a large field. But this is just right, they are still worried that they can't find it or there are too few. This. So many. This is too much. Are these all ozone grasses? Xiaosong, you are amazing. You discovered it again. That's right, not only did you discover it, but you also discovered so many. Now they all have no doubt that Xiaosong can really hear the sound of ozone grass. Otherwise, why is it Xiaosong who discovers it every time? If it is just based on feeling, it can't be so accurate. There must be something guiding Xiaosong. Xiaosong laughed, scratched his head and said modestly. Lucky, just lucky. Everyone didn't stay on this topic for long. Then Champa looked at the ozone grass in front of him again and said. Since it is said that two people have to peel it together to eat the ozone heart. Then who will peel it with me? He glanced at everyone. But found that no one stood up. First of all, this guy is gods of destruction, and he has a bad temper. He wants to destroy and destroy at every turn, who dares to team up with him. Secondly, this guy looks clumsy. Even if you team up with him, it is difficult to perfectly peel the leaves and see the ozone heart. There is another most important point. That is, they don't like this guy and feel a little disgusted. Therefore, no one wants to team up with him. Seeing that no one responded, Champa was a little angry and shouted. I said you guys, I asked you to peel the leaves with me, why can't you hear it? Or are you afraid that you can't cooperate with me, so you dare not stand up? He really thinks that this is the reason why everyone didn't stand up. Everyone was still silent, thinking that this guy was really shameless. But because the other party was gods of destruction, they couldn't say it. Let me do it, Lord Champa. Finally, Beto stood up. After all, if this continues, their own gods of destruction will be laughed at. Okay. Champa said reluctantly. If it was Beidou's, you should be able to cooperate with me. This made everyone in 987 complain again. The degree of shamelessness of this guy has reached a certain level. Anyway, it is a realm they cannot reach. Beidou's also shook his head slightly, feeling ashamed. Why did she follow such a fool in the first place? Champa was completely unaware of the people's dislike for him. He flew directly to the ozone grass in front of him. After landing steadily, he said to Beidos. Beidos, come up. Okay, Lord Champa. Beidos also flew up and stood beside Champa. Champa bent down and grabbed a leaf head, ready. Beidos also bent down and grabbed a leaf head. Are you ready, Shen Si? Ready, Lord Champa. Quote. Then, let's get started. As Champa finished speaking, the two of them pulled the leaves down at the same time. Swish, swish. Pulled all the way down. And it was very successful, peeling off the two leaves without causing the ozone grass to shrink. This made everyone happy, this method really worked. Champa was even a little proud. See, it's not difficult, it's easy to peel off. Quote. You guys watch and learn over there. Quote. This made everyone even more disgusted. Champa didn't know any of this, and was still feeling proud. Then he continued to peel off the other two leaves with Beidos. Are you ready, Beidos? Quote. Okay, Patientia. Then, let's start. The two of them pulled the leaf head down again, just like before. Swish swish. But this time Champa fell faster than Beidos. In order to balance, Beidos also controlled and accelerated to fall faster than Champa. But the two could no longer keep balance. Therefore, the ozone grass leaked and shrank directly. Finally, it turned into a gray-black seed. Seeing this scene, Champa was dumbfounded. The pride on his face completely disappeared. This pride lasted less than three seconds. Champa was sweating and felt very uncomfortable. Then he blamed Vados. Vados, it's all your fault, you're too fat. You fell too fast and the group couldn't balance. What? Vados and everyone else were stunned. Isn't it Tiangong? No matter who caused the failure this time. If you make up a decent reason, Beidos will admit it. This is Beidos is fat, do you think everyone else is blind? 
Everyone was amused by this, but also speechless. This guy, is simply. Beidos covered half of his face, feeling helpless. There was an urge to break up with this guy directly. If they continue to get along, won't they be affected and become stupid? However, it was just a complaint in her heart. In fact, she had long been used to it, and it was not the first time she met Champa. Okay, Lord Champa, I will lose weight when I go back. Beidos had to take all the responsibility. But he didn't want to make Champa comfortable, and said. But Lord Champa, since I can't cooperate with you, you should find someone else. Tisk, Champa shouted, but didn't force it, and then looked at Su Ming and the others, since Beidos is too fat, who will come? However, everyone shook their heads and refused in unison. We are too fat, not suitable. Champa was stunned, and his face was a little crooked. No matter how stupid he was, he could hear that these people disliked him. Tisk, Champa yelled again, holding his chest, not caring. Since you don't want to, I'll do it myself. Watch me. Then he flew to another good ozone grass again. He went up and was not in a hurry to peel it. He rubbed his hands and moved his neck left and right. It's just peeling a leaf, this won't be difficult for gods of destruction. Watch me, I'm going to be serious. As he spoke, he bent over and pulled a leaf off at an extremely fast speed, or in other words, a speed beyond time. Before the ozone grass could react, the leaf had been peeled to the bottom by him. He peeled off another leaf next to it at an extremely fast speed. Swish. The two leaves were successfully peeled off directly. But this time the ozone grass did not shrink, so it did not feel threatened. It also means that Champa succeeded. This also made Uru, Shaosong and others unbelievable. How could this be? Some of them didn't even see Champa's movements. Because the speed was so fast, it transcended time. They even saw Champa standing still while the leaves were peeled off. At this speed, even the sensitive ozone grass didn't notice that its leaves were peeled off. So there was no defense. Therefore, it didn't shrink and turn into seeds. Seeing the shocked expressions of the crowd, Pa said proudly. What do you think? Even if no one peels together, it won't be a problem for this gods of destruction. Next, I'm going to peel it completely. You watch how this god eats the first bite of the ozone heart. As he said that, before everyone had completely woken up from the shock. Champa continued to fly to the ozone grass that had already peeled off two leaves. Then he continued to peel at the speed that transcended time. Each time, he peeled two leaves at a time to form a balance point. Even if there was no balance point. At this speed, the ozone grass would not shrink. Because it was too fast, it didn't notice it at all. In a few seconds, the leaves where Champa was stripped bald. Then the true face inside was revealed. The ozone heart that exuded white light and made everyone look forward to it. The ozone heart exuded an attractive luster. Because the leaves were peeled off, the ozone heart was originally curled up, but now it stretched out, and the moment it stretched out, it splashed out lovely juice. And there was the indescribable fragrance of vegetables. This fragrance directly attracted the soul of Champa, who was closest to him. He closed his eyes unconsciously, his cheeks flushed, and his expression was intoxicated. His mouth moved unconsciously. It smells so good, I want to eat it. Unconsciously, his horns also drooled. Champa didn't care so much and opened his eyes. Then, let me taste your taste. As he said, he bit the ozone heart with his mouth that was drooling. At the same time, Uru reminded him. Wait, if you eat it like this, it will. But before he finished speaking, Champa had already bitten the ozone heart. Uru was choked by his words and showed a regretful expression. Everyone still didn't understand what was going on. But the next moment, the ozone heart that Champa was biting leaked. After the air leaked, it was directly carbonized. It turned into a black mass. The ozone heart that Champa bit into his mouth also turned into a black mass. But this thing is very bitter, super bitter. It's as if all bitter things are fused together. This kind of bitterness made Champa directly bitter emoticons. As for what it is, it's hard to describe. He quickly spit out the things in his mouth, and said at a very fast speed. Beidos, water, water. Give me water. However, Beidos was not in a hurry to give it this time. Pretend not to hear clearly, like what you said, Lord Pa. What do you mean by sleep? Sleep, sleep, are you sleepy and want to sleep? 
It's no wonder she would be like this. Blame it on Champa for not learning his lesson. He always eats without understanding the situation, and then suffers. In order to make Champa learn a lesson, she can only do it. Champa was anxious, and spoke faster. It's not sleep, it's water. I want water. He said it with a vomiting look, and all the bitterness came out. This made Bulma and the others want to laugh. They thought that this guy deserved it. He was so impulsive every time, if you don't suffer, who will? Seeing this guy doing this, Betos couldn't bear to tease him anymore. He quickly waved the scepter and took out a large bottle of red liquid and gave it to him. Hey, Lord Champa. Quote. Champa looked at the red liquid in front of him. He didn't care about anything and quickly twisted the cap off. He lifted the big bottle and poured it into his mouth. Gulp, gurgle. It was normal at first, but after a few sips. His pupils suddenly widened and his face turned pale. He sprayed the red liquid in his mouth directly. Puff. He couldn't help but scream. Ah. It's so spicy, so spicy, so spicy. While screaming, fire could be sprayed out of his mouth. Betos, what did you give me to drink? Are you going to kill me with it? This made Bulma and the others really laugh out loud. This guy, he is just here to make people laugh. Betos took a look at the red liquid for Champa to drink. He found that he had taken the wrong one. This was a bottle of chili oil. And it was super spicy. She smiled awkwardly and said. Sorry. Master Champa, I took the wrong one. Quote. I thought it was sweet water, but I didn't expect it was chili oil. Quote. Champa was angry and yelled. You can even get it wrong, Betos. Can't you tell the difference between chili oil and sweet water? Are you deliberately trying to kill me with spicy food so that you can go and compete with the other gods of destruction? Betos smiled and covered his mouth. The main thing is that the two colors are similar, so. But Lord Champa, you are too careless. You can't blame me for not even checking the drink I gave you. Quote. Champa was even angrier, his cheeks were puffed up. In that situation, how could he have the energy to check whether it was sweet water or chili oil? Your mouth was bitter, how could you spare the energy to check? Besides, who would have thought that it was chili oil? The color was almost the same as the sweet water given to him before. He was also very angry, spitting loudly and yelling. Betos, I hate you. He couldn't beat the other party, so he could only vent his anger like this. If it were someone else, he would probably break something. But his helpless and angry look. Once again, Clint and the others couldn't help laughing. He he he. But this also gave Champa a chance to vent his anger. He looked at everyone and yelled. What are you laughing at? Do you want to be destroyed? This directly scared Bulma and others to stop laughing, and their faces were solemn. In any case, they were still afraid of gods of destruction. Even if Champa may not really destroy them. But just hearing the word, destroy, Yin's heart can't help but fear. And Beto's on the side also covered his mouth and smiled. Everyone thought Champa was funny. And at this time, having vented some, Champa's anger subsided a little. Without the blessing of anger, the bitterness and spiciness in his mouth came out again. Ah. Champa quickly fanned his mouth with his hand, saying. Betos, water, water, water. Give me water quickly, it's so bitter. So spicy. It's so bitter and spicy. He is really uncomfortable now. Okay, Lord Champa. Betos didn't tease him anymore, and waved the scepter again. A large bottle of red cold water appeared in front of Champa again. Champa also hurriedly unscrewed the bottle cap. But with the lesson learned just now, he was not in a hurry to pour it into his mouth. He endured the bitterness and first smelled the taste of the water in the bottle. When he found that it was right, he lifted the bottle and poured it into his mouth. But he didn't drink it directly into his stomach like before. Instead, he rinsed his mouth first and drank it when it was almost enough. It took a few minutes to ease. The bitter taste and the chili oil that Betos got from nowhere. It was really amazing. It was more terrible than drinking some poison. After he eased, he was angry again. This ozone grass is inedible. It made me suffer so much, I want to destroy them all. As he said that, he condensed energy bombs in his palm to destroy these ozone grasses. But Uru stopped him again. Wait. This is not the fault of the ozone grass. It's because you ate it the wrong way, God. This time, the energy bomb in Champa's palm did not dissipate. 
He looked at Uru and asked in confusion, the wrong way. Didn't you say before that as long as you peel off the leaves, you can eat the heart inside? My steps are also correct. How is it wrong? He was not convinced and felt that he was not wrong. Uru was speechless, but still said patiently. The steps are correct, but the last step is wrong. The heart of ozone grass also requires two people to eat at the same time. And the eating movements must be consistent, without any deviation. The same principle is peeling the leaves. Now Champa understood, I see. But why didn't you say it earlier? He blamed Uru again. Before Uru could say anything, Beerus was already a little fed up with this guy, and stood up and said, I was going to say it just now, but you were so impatient that you didn't give me a chance to say it. Now you still have the nerve to blame others. Champa scratched his head, a little embarrassed, are you going to say it? Why didn't I remember it? Anyway, say it in advance next time. Then he cancelled the energy in his palm and looked at another ozone grass. Then I'll try it again. If it still doesn't taste good. Don't blame me. This was the limit of his patience. Even if it was his fault that he couldn't eat it later, he had to destroy it. Otherwise, the majesty of gods of destruction would be lost. After saying that, he immediately flew to a good ozone grass. Using the same method as before, he peeled the leaves at a speed beyond time. In just a few seconds, all the leaves were peeled off. Revealing the ozone heart that was as tender as the previous one. It looked very tempting, and Uru and his people immediately gathered around. Under their gaze, Champa was about to bite the ozone heart. But just as he was about to bite, he found something approaching from behind. He paused unconsciously. He turned his head and looked in the same direction with everyone else. His eyes were drawn. He found a creature walking slowly towards him. This creature looked similar to the GT robot of the Gourmet Club. But it was not a GT robot. The hair on its body was red, and there was no sign of metal. The GT robot of the Gourmet Club. In fact, it was made in the image of Netero. This creature was Netero, and it was a red Netero. Seeing the red Netero approaching, Uru, Komatsu, and Bulma felt a strong pressure. Their faces were solemn and cold sweats broke out. What? What is that? It looks scary. It looks like a GT robot, but it doesn't seem to be. The captured level of this Netero is estimated to be several hundred levels. In the eyes of some weak people, just looking at it makes them feel scared. Because the red Netero exudes a breath, this breath can affect the mind. As long as ordinary creatures sense this breath, they will immediately run away. Just as several people were pale and terrified, Champa asked, can this thing be eaten? It looks like a bird. He was not affected or oppressed at all. Instead, he was interested in whether the other party could be eaten. Because in his cognition, many creatures in this world are delicious. Let alone him, Goku Beerus and others also have this idea. Others are afraid. They are excited. I don't know if it can be eaten, but this guy is getting closer and closer. Song unconsciously retreated and hid behind Son Goku and others. Champa and others were not in a hurry to attack. They wanted to know what this guy was going to do. Why was he approaching here? And soon, Red Netero got closer and closer. Already in front of Champa and others. But Netero ignored Champa and others. He looked at the ozone heart on the ground. Then he leaned over and smelled the ozone heart. Then he took two bites at a very fast speed. Swish. Because the speed was fast enough, the ozone heart was not broken. In other words, he didn't react to being bitten twice. Red Netero took two bites and chewed. But he only chewed a few times and spit it out. Obviously, it doesn't like to eat. But this is normal. Netero is a very picky creature. The delicacies of the human world can't satisfy them at all. If it didn't think the ozone grass was good, it wouldn't come. But after coming, it was disappointed. After spitting out the ozone heart, it didn't attack the crowd. Turning around to leave, Champa called him. Stop. Eat the fruit he worked so hard to make. You just want to leave like this. As the gods of destruction, doesn't he have any face? Red Netero paused and turned back slowly. He also stared at Champa, but you can see the murderous intent in his eyes. Originally, it disdained to attack Champa and others. Because in its eyes, these humans are lowly king no. There is no desire for it to kill. 
But since the other party took the initiative to provoke, it doesn't mind killing them all. Seeing Netero's murderous eyes, Komatsu, Uru, and Bulma felt their scalps tingling. But Beerus and the others were still calm and relaxed. They did not feel any threat from Netero at all. Champa saw that the other party had murderous intentions, and his face turned cold. What? After eating my food, do you still want to kill us? As he spoke, a destructive aura spread out. The red Netero in front of him felt this breath. The murderous intent and coldness in his eyes disappeared instantly. Then there was only fear and fear. He turned around and wanted to escape from here. These humans were not something he could mess with. Just as he turned around and fled, Champa was not in a hurry to take action. After the other party ran a few hundred meters, he slowly raised his finger. Then a ray of red light condensed on his fingertips and shot out. Whoosh! It shot out like a laser and finally pierced through the red Netero's skull. Netero did not even scream. He fell directly to the ground and received a box lunch. Seeing this, Champa spoke coldly. No one has ever dared to snatch things in front of gods of destruction like this. Seeing the Red Netero receive a box lunch like this, Uru Shaosong was shocked again. Although they expected that the people Su Ming brought were very strong. But they didn't expect that they were all so strong. Carelessly killed a Netero with a capture level of several hundred. These people are simply too scary. After dealing with the Red Netero, Champa ordered Vados. Vados, go and bring that thing back. I think it should be delicious. Although the other party looked a little ugly, even some people. But Champa felt that since the other party disliked even the delicacy of ozone heart, he must have eaten a lot of delicacies that were more delicious than ozone grass. And creatures that have eaten so many top delicacies must taste delicious. Vados nodded, good Champa Tianren. Quote. Then he flew out and brought back the dead red Netero. Seeing Vados bring Netero back. Komatsu and Bulma hid far away. As this, can this thing really be eaten? It's too ugly. The two murmured, and the solemnity on their faces became even deeper. Even though Netero was dead. But there was still no way to eliminate the fear in their hearts. Champa said, ignore this guy for now. Next, I'm going to taste the ozone heart. As he said that, he cast his burning eyes back to the ozone heart that was bitten by Netero and left with teeth marks. Then he leaned down and took two bites of the ozone heart at an extremely fast speed under the gaze of everyone. Swoosh. This speed even surpassed time. Naturally, the ozone heart didn't react to being eaten. And Champa ate the ozone heart as he wished. As soon as he bit it into his mouth, he felt a refreshing feeling. As if he was bathed in spring breeze, the whole person became extremely energetic. It was like taking stimulants. Under this mental excitement. His eyes closed unconsciously, and his expression became enjoyable. Then he chewed. Crack, crack. The crisp chewing sound can be clearly heard. And every time he chewed point zero, Champa could feel different vegetables bursting in his mouth. Almost all the flavors of vegetables appeared. There were all kinds of vegetables that he had eaten and had not eaten before. The key is that the flavors were not mixed, but clearly layered. They burst out one by one. Layer by layer, they attack the taste buds. Champa seemed to have entered an endless vegetable garden. And the vegetables in the vegetable garden were presented one by one in front of him. And he also tasted the vegetables presented in front of him. That feeling was wonderful. It was impossible to describe it in words. But this kind of beauty could not be maintained forever. After he swallowed it, it also ushered in the last climax. It was the combined taste of all vegetables that burst in the stomach. Bang. That feeling was a kind of pleasure that went straight up to the sky. This pleasure made Champa's scalp numb and extremely happy. Then he suddenly opened his eyes and burst out loudly unconsciously. Ah. Delicious. 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 The sound made the ears of the people around him buzz. Without waiting for anyone to say anything. Champa continued to lean forward, his mouth close to the ozone heart. He bit it at a very fast speed and continued to enjoy it. Seeing this, Beerus and others didn't understand how delicious this ozone heart was. They just swallowed their saliva just now. Now some people even drooled. Son Goku couldn't bear it anymore, then, I want to eat it too. He said, without any intention of snatching Champa's food. He flew directly to the nearest ozone grass next to 147. 
After landing steadily, he immediately imitated Champa to peel off the leaves at a very fast speed. Swish swish. It took only a few seconds to peel it off successfully. Then the tempting ozone heart was revealed. Son Goku's face became even more enthusiastic, then, I'm going to eat. He also leaned down and put his mouth close to the ozone heart. Then he took two bites at a speed that was too fast to see clearly. At this speed, he also succeeded in eating it. Before he chewed, his pupils suddenly widened. In an instant, he entered the beautiful and endless place with only vegetables. There is no need to say what happened next. Like Champa, he enjoyed the ultimate impact. This made Beerus and others who had not yet taken action even more restless. They went straight to find an ozone grass. They all peeled it at a very fast speed and ate the stinky heart inside. They experienced that wonderful pleasure. Only Bulma, Shaosong and Uru. They didn't have the ability to peel it like Beerus and others. But in order to eat them, the three of them teamed up to peel them together. But it didn't work at all. Even if they knew the method, it was still difficult to do the same movements without any deviation. They almost peeled one leaking gas. It almost made them lose their minds. Bulma simply stopped peeling. She put her hands on her waist and shouted at the people who were enjoying it. Hey. You guys. Can you help me? Are you just ignoring the ladies like this? However, no one paid any attention. They were completely immersed in the dreamy and wonderful vegetable and fruit garden. It was difficult to wake them up by shouting normally now. This also made Bulma even more angry, and she continued to increase the volume. Vegeta. Krillin. Piccolo. Goku. But still no one paid any attention. Maybe they heard it, but it was difficult for them to get out of the wonderful feeling. Because it was really wonderful. Bulma gritted her teeth in anger and walked towards the few people quickly. First, he went to Son Goku's side, put his mouth close to Son Goku's ear, and used his hands like speakers to shout at full volume, Son Goku. Son Goku instinctively turned his head away when he was shouted at. Ouch. He even wanted to attack Bulma. His fist was close to Bulma's face. It was only 0.01 centimeters away. But he didn't really hit her. Because he had already reacted, the person in front of him was Bulma. He withdrew his fist, scratched his head and said, Bulma, what are you doing? He felt a little wrong, thinking that he had done something wrong. More importantly, he was ready to climax. He was directly awakened by Bulma's voice. Vegeta, CBCC, and Krillin around him were also interrupted and woke up. They all looked at Bulma, with confusion on their faces. What happened? Bulma looked at everyone who finally woke up, put her hands on her hips and said unhappily, you only know how to eat. Can't you help me get some food too? As she said that, her eyes also looked at Vegeta specifically. Vegeta also snorted and turned his head away. If there were no one else here, he might have spoiled her. But there are so many people here, and they are all brothers and friends. If he showed the side that made him feel ashamed in front of Bulma, he would be socially dead and his personality would completely collapse. So, he was determined to keep his personality. Seeing Vegeta turn his head away, Bulma became even more angry. Her fists were clenched tightly. But she would not blame him in person. It seemed that the more Vegeta was like this, the more she liked him. It was hard to explain the feeling, love and hate. And now, everyone finally understood what was going on. Son Goku scratched his head and smiled. So you can't peel it open, so you can't eat it. Then it's really our negligence. Then he looked at Vegeta and said. Vegeta, go help Bulma and the others. Bulma is your wife. This made Vegeta's face flush and grit his teeth. I really want to kick Son Goku away. But he restrained himself for the time being, and his anger had not reached the critical point. Seeing that he was indifferent, Bulma also added, See, even this idiot knows to love his wife. And you, Vegeta, can't you learn a little bit? Vegeta could no longer suppress his anger. Turning around, he yelled at Bulma, I won't learn from this idiot. Women are so annoying. After yelling, his anger subsided a lot, and then he turned around with his arms crossed. Bulma couldn't do anything about this guy and felt helpless. But Son Goku on the side said, Vegeta, you have changed your mind. You were not like this before. Remember when Lord Beerus first came to Earth. Bulma was slapped away by Lord Beerus, and you burst into anger. 
At this point, he imitated Vegeta at that time. Covering half of his face with one hand, his expression was very angry. He punched the ground and burst into anger. You actually. You actually dared to bully my Bulma. Unforgivable. Then he became very powerful and even dared to attack Lord Beerus. After saying these words, Vegeta's face had turned red like an apple. Unable to hold back any longer, he completely burst into anger. Kakarot. He turned into Super Blue and punched Son Goku. Son Goku also reacted quickly, as if he had predicted it. He crossed his hands to block Vegeta's punch. Bang. But he couldn't block it at all and was knocked back and flew out. After stabilizing his steps, Son Goku was also very unhappy and turned into Super Blue with his fists clenched. He took a fighting stance and said with a grieved expression. Was I wrong, Vegeta? At that time, you did say that you hit my Bulma. He hadn't said the second half yet. The red-hot Vegeta had already rushed over. Son Goku was not afraid either, you want to fight, right, Vegeta? Quote. Then I'll accompany you. Then he also rushed towards Vegeta with his fists clenched. Both of them were very fast, and few people could see clearly. At this speed, the two quickly rushed in front of each other. Then each of them punched the other with great force. But before the fists collided, a figure appeared between them at a lightning speed. At the same time as this figure appeared, the time of the two was directly frozen, unable to move. Stop it, both of you. Are you going to destroy this place? The one who froze them was none other than Wiss. If the two were allowed to fight here, the residual power alone could destroy this place, and he didn't want to see it. Besides, he was afraid of angering Su Ming. Su Ming might drive all of them out of this world. By then, it would be too late to regret. This was related to the interests of everyone. He couldn't let these two guys destroy it. Seeing that they were destroyed by such a terrifying power burst by these two guys was stopped it easily. Komatsu and Uru were dumbfounded, and their eyes were pale. There were turbulent waves in their hearts, and they were greatly shocked. They were not even ants in front of these people. It was already terrifying when I saw Son Goku defeat Ikiryu before. But the performance now is even more terrifying. At that moment when Vegeta transformed, the two even felt that the earth was about to explode. Fear filled their whole bodies, thinking that it was all over. Seeing the two people's pale faces and shocked appearance, Piccolo and others can understand. Because they know people like Uru and Komatsu who are weak. This is the first time they face Super Blue's momentum directly. The inner waves must be very big. It's just like seeing a small firecracker explode is scary. But now it's facing a nuclear bomb explosion directly. No one can understand that feeling, and it can't be described. If someone has a heart disease or a weak constitution, they will probably be scared to death. Fortunately, Uru, Komatsu and Uru have strong psychological qualities. This is how they barely avoid being scared. Vegeta and Son Goku were frozen here. The blue hair immediately wilts and turns back to black. After being stopped by Whis, the two sobered up a lot. But Vegeta was still unhappy after sobering up. He hugged his chest and turned his head, snorting. He also realized that he was indeed a little impulsive. Let alone making Su Ming unhappy will be kicked out of this world. Just Beerus and Champa might attack them. After all, those two are famous for protecting their food. And since it is related to their interests, they will definitely not sit idly by. However, Son Goku, this fool, does not know these principles. Or rather, he did not think so much. He just felt that Vegeta attacked him for no reason, which made him feel wronged. Scratching his head, Son Goku said to Vegeta who turned his back. Isn't what I said wrong? Vegeta, I'm just stating the facts. Why are you so angry? This once again made Vegeta's anger, which was about to be extinguished, burn again. He gritted his teeth, veins popped, and he was extremely patient. But at this moment, Beerus's cold voice sounded. Do you still want to fight? If you want to fight, I can send you to a place. The foolish son Goku didn't know what was going on. He smiled brightly at Beerus and said. No more fighting, but where is the place you said, Lord Beerus? Is that place suitable for sparring? Very suitable for sparring. Beerus' voice became colder, and a chill that made people's scalps numb could be felt around him. He slowly said, Hell. Hell, it seems. Son Goku, who hadn't reacted yet, 
was still laughing, but after reacting, the whole person froze, his face pale and cold sweat broke out, and he muttered softly, heaven. Hell. Quote. No matter how stupid you are, you can't fail to understand this. Obviously, he and Vegeta angered Beerus. Aha. He frowned and waved his hands. No, Lord Beerus, we won't fight anymore. Besides, it was Vegeta who attacked me first. Vegeta's anger had just been dispelled by Beerus's coldness, but now it was rising again. He clenched his fists tightly, gritted his teeth, and tried his best to control and suppress the anger that was about to erupt again. After all, Beerus was really angry this time. In the face of the threat of being destroyed, he was more rational. Looking at this somewhat awkward atmosphere, Su Ming also spoke. Okay, continue to enjoy the delicious food. Then he looked at Bulma, Xiao Song and Uru, and continued. I will help you peel it. Quote. He was not afraid that these people would make a big noise. Because they could be kicked out at any time. It was just that it was such a small matter, and it was not worth it. After he said that, everyone nodded. Then they continued to taste the ozone grass. No matter what, in this world, they all had to give Su Ming face. After all, Su Ming was the master of this world in a sense. After the episode, Su Ming helped Bulma and the others peel off several ozone grasses. The three of them also ate the ozone heart as they wished. No, it should be said that they were two people. Because the three of them were not strong enough, they could not eat it alone. It took two people to eat it at the same time. But the embarrassing thing was that Uru and Xiaosong were men and could form a team. But Bulma was alone and could not eat it at all. If he had to lose face and eat with other men, he would be afraid that Vegeta would explode. This also made her uncomfortable. Everyone ate with relish, and kept making unbearable sounds. It was a kind of torment. Fortunately, at this time Vital came over and said, let me eat with you. Bulma's drooping face finally bloomed, okay. Then she ate with Vital. At the beginning, they failed a few times, but they could get it right after getting used to it. Then, Everyone ate the ozone grass as they wished. The voices of admiration and shock kept coming out of their mouths. They kept going like this. They continued to enjoy it for two hours before stopping. The reason was not that they wanted to stop. It was that they had eaten all the ozone grass around them. And they were also very satisfied. The desire for ozone grass was not that great at the moment. And this was not the key point. The key point was that they were Red Netero. At this moment, they wanted to taste the taste of Netero. They surrounded the dead Netero lying on the ground. Champa picked his teeth with the nail of his little finger and said leisurely, Next, let's try this guy. Then he looked at Su Ming and asked, Su Ming, can this guy be eaten? Su Ming replied indifferently, Of course you can eat it. And it should be delicious. He has a system, so he knows this. Although Netero looks unappetizing, his meat is not bad. After all, Netero is from the food world. Hearing that it can be eaten and is delicious. Champa's eyes became jealous, so, should we eat it directly? Su Ming said, it won't be a big problem to eat it raw. But if it can be cooked before eating, it will be more delicious. Does it need to be cooked? Champa looked at everyone, and then his eyes stopped at Uru and Xiaosong, and said, you can cook, right? I heard from Su Ming that some of you are chefs, and your cooking skills are very high. After asking this, Xiaosong stepped back unconsciously. He was obviously still afraid of this Netero, not to mention cooking. But Uru was very calm and said. I'm not a chef, but Xiao, Song is. Then he looked to the side to find Xiaosong. But he didn't see Xiaosong there. Xiaosong had retreated more than 10 meters, with a serious face. Uru scratched his head and asked, Xiaosong, help me. Quote. To be honest, he was also very interested in Netero's meat and was looking forward to it. Besides, he had eaten many beasts before. There were many that were uglier than Netero. From Netero's appearance alone, he was not afraid. He was only afraid of the living Netero just now. Because the living Netero was too oppressive. The key was that the aura he exuded made people unconsciously afraid. Xiaosong waved his hands hurriedly and stammered. Still, forget it, Mr. Uru. I think your cooking skills are not bad, you can try to cook. There was no way, Uru didn't expect Xiaosong to be so scared. If you force him to cook, it will be difficult to cook well. Okay, I'll try. 
although his cooking skills were not very good. Point zero. But it's not that he didn't have any cooking skills. Usually captured food beasts. Before meeting Xiaosong, he mostly cooked by himself. No matter what, the accumulated experience made his cooking skills improve. Champa said, in that case, let's start. Quote, he is not picky, as long as someone cooks it and it is edible. Uru nodded. Then he began to process Netero. After a while, Hushi Luo became a piece of meat. And its meat was golden yellow and very tender. Even before it was cooked, it was already appetizing. It looks ugly on the outside, but it is a different scene inside. This, is this really the meat of that monster? Seeing these pieces of meat, Xiaosong was not so scared anymore. He dared to come closer and planned to cook with Uru. With his help, it was more efficient. The two of them lit a fire and set up a pot, one for frying and the other for stewing. Xiaosong mainly stewed, while Uru fried. The division of labor was clear. In less than a minute, you could smell the fragrance. The fragrance was so charming that everyone swallowed their saliva unconsciously. This fragrance is not much different from the fragrance of gem meat. Just now Xiaosong and Bulma were scared. Now after this fragrance came out, Tang's fear disappeared completely. Ah, I didn't expect such an ugly thing to have such a fragrant meat. Bulma spoke, feeling very surprised. Binatero was so ugly, so his meat must not be very good. But she never expected that it was completely the opposite of what she thought. She even said that she had never smelled such a fragrant meat. Xiaosong also scratched his head and laughed and agreed. That's right, such a scary guy, I didn't expect it to smell so good. If you know this, I won't be so scared. Sometimes appetite can overcome fear. Hee <laughs> hee. Son Goku chuckled and said. This is indeed surprising. The few people cooked while chatting. It took about half an hour to fry the netero meat. With the seasoning sprinkled by Xiaosong, it was even more amazing. Some people were drooling. Can we eat now? I can't wait any longer. Champa rubbed his hands, his eyes never left the frying meat on the frying pan. Waiting here just now was very painful. Of course, except for him. The same is true for Uru and others, who swallowed their saliva countless times. This is even a difficult challenge. Fortunately, they basically succeeded in the challenge. Otherwise, they might have gotten the hang of it halfway and eaten it directly. It's okay, Yinjia, get ready to eat. Uru turned the frying meat over for the last time and said. As for Xiaosong's stewed meat, there is still some time. But they didn't care. It was a kind of enjoyment to eat fried meat first and then stewed meat. But there were more wolves than meat here. The meat of a netero was only a few dozen kilograms. In front of these big eaters, it was not enough to fill the gaps between their teeth. In order to avoid fighting, everyone could eat. Uru and Xiaosong took out plates from somewhere. Then each plate was divided into a piece of meat. After the division, everyone was allowed to take a portion. The first one to take was Champa. He couldn't wait and smelled the meat first. His face immediately became enthusiastic and he could see his saliva dripping. But he didn't care at all, I'm going to eat. In fact, there was a knife and fork, but he didn't use it. He grabbed the sizzling and hot barbecue with his hands. Then he put it directly to his mouth and took a bite. He was not afraid of being burned or anything. Of course, this point was not worth mentioning in front of his strength. The moment he bit it, the gravy splashed. And the taste was tender and smooth, and the gravy in his mouth was full. Just the first bite, the body felt like an electric shock. Numb, but this feeling is very comfortable, very comfortable. Then chewing. Every time he chewed, Champa's face was intoxicated. In the intoxication, his eyes were slightly closed. After swallowing, it was even more explosive. A subtle impact rushed from the soles of his feet to the top of his head. There was a pleasure of going straight up to the sky. He fell into a wonderful space. There were many beasts and ingredients he had never seen in the space. And the meat and ingredients of these beasts also exploded in his mouth. But they were all extremely delicious. Like the ingredients and beasts that Netero had eaten in his life. Netero of this level has a very picky mouth. It basically eats ingredients and beasts from the gourmet world. And those who eat its meat. Also experience the ingredients and beasts it had eaten in its life. This is equivalent to eating its meat and eating things from the gourmet world. 
In most of the things in the gourmet world are more delicious than those in the human world. This time, Champa was directly hit by a super-dimensional reduction. The taste buds were constantly hit. The cells in the body were dancing in a carnival. Even Champa was pulled in to have a carnival together. Champa was climax after climax, climax after climax. His emotions reached the peak. No. It was a breakthrough, so cool that it exploded. Finally, he burst out with his current mood. Delicious. Delicious. Super delicious. While saying his feelings loudly, tears flowed from the corners of his eyes. It was really delicious to the point of crying. And the tears were getting bigger and bigger, and his cheeks were immediately submerged. It was so exaggerated. It was also this exaggerated look that made Beerus and the others unable to hold back. I'm going to start eating too. Then one by one, they started to eat. The reserved ones used knives and forks. The unrestrained ones just grabbed it with their hands. Using these two methods, put the barbecue into your mouth and bite it. The thick gravy splashed. Then, their pupils widened and froze. Each of them was hit by an unprecedented critical strike. Like Champa, they were hit by a super shock. Netero's meat is as delicious as gem meat. That is a critical strike from the world of food. At this moment, Su Ming finally understood. Why Jiro likes to eat Netero. It turns out that it is really super super delicious. It is so delicious that it cannot be described in words. Su Ming even has a greater yearning for the world of food. This red Netero is so delicious. What if we capture a blue Netero with a level of more than 5000? How wonderful it would be. It must be super delicious beyond imagination. Osomatsu and Bulma also completely forgot the horror of Netero. The previous fear and fear all dissipated. Now they even love Netero. Netero's meat is so delicious. It was so delicious that they overcame their fear. Very quickly. It only took 10 minutes. Everyone cleared the plate. Of course, it wasn't that they ate slowly. They were immersed in the beauty and the critical hits, which took up a lot of time. After clearing the plate, they still felt unsatisfied. They licked the remaining meat and juice on the plate directly. But it was still not enough, they still felt unsatisfied. But the fried meat had been eaten. Next, they turned their eyes to the stew pot. The steam coming out of the stew pot was also intoxicating. Fried meat has the fragrance of fried meat, and stewed meat has the fragrance of stewed meat. And each fragrance is superb and indescribable. Song, is the stew ready to eat? Sun Goku asked with a fanatical look on his face. Song put down the last seasoning, stirred it a few times, and then said. It's ready, are you ready to eat? Because of the seasoning, the meat fragrance was even stronger. As a result, Baru and Sun Goku immediately drooled. And they couldn't wait any longer. They also took out bowls and served stewed meat and soup. Then, they were full of praise again. Stewed meat is no worse than fried meat. They experienced a different kind of beauty again. It took about 10 minutes. The soup and meat in the stew pot were also swept away. It was very clean, not even the soup or meat was left. But this did not satisfy them, and they were still not satisfied. Champa even asked Su Ming. Su Ming, do you know where there are still such guys? His purpose was very simple, just to continue hunting and eating. Because it was really delicious. So far, the cleanest meat. Everyone looked at Su Ming with expectation. They also wanted to continue eating. Su Ming shook his head slightly, actually, I don't know. This kind of creature has no fixed place to live. Even if you look for it on purpose, it's hard to find it. It depends on luck to encounter it. Is that so? Champa was a little disappointed, that seems to be the case, how can such a delicacy be found everywhere? But these guys seem to like coming here. I really hope that there will be thousands more coming to eat ozone grass later. Then we can eat more. Everyone was speechless. Why didn't you say hundreds of millions? Do you think Netero is Chinese cabbage? Besides, even if it is Chinese cabbage, the probability of thousands of them appearing at the same time is very low. Everyone complained in their hearts. But after spending some time with Champa, I have a general understanding of him. This guy is just a fool who can only make jokes. And now, I have tasted the vegetables and ozone grass here. Su Ming felt that the time was almost up, and said. Okay, we can go back soon. Don't you all want to drink century soup? Xiaosong's century soup has not been tasted yet. 
Century soup. Son Goku and the others who had tasted it were immediately jealous. They were very sensitive to these four words. As soon as they mentioned it, they could think of the kind of wonderfulness that made people unable to extricate themselves. Looking at their expressions, it also made Champa and others look forward to it. Is century soup really that delicious? Champa asked. I've heard Su Ming mention it before, but I don't know if it's really that delicious. Wiss and others showed that kind of dementia every time he mentioned it. Without waiting for anyone to answer. Wiss smiled and replied. It's delicious. Lord Champa, it can be said to be the most delicious soup in the world. As he said that, the enthusiasm on Wiss's face deepened a little. This also made everyone more expectant and wanted to drink it quickly. Champa said more urgently. In that case, take us to drink that. Bulma and the others nodded. They had almost finished eating the ozone grass. And they had packed everything they needed. There was no point in staying here any longer. They all wanted to taste other delicacies. But Song said. It takes some time to make the century soup. If you want to drink it, you can. But you need to wait for some time. Champa didn't care, anything is fine. It's fine as long as we can drink it today. Everyone nodded slightly, all meaning the same thing. Good things need to wait, they can understand that. Okay, if you want to drink it, I'll make it when we go back later. So, are we going back now? Everyone looked at Su Ming, everything was up to him. Su Ming said lightly, go back. Everyone, put your hands over me. Okay. Then, Su Ming used instant transmission to teleport everyone away. When he appeared again, he was already in the Igo Hotel. That's where Song worked. The century soup was also made here. After arriving at the hotel, Song immediately said to everyone. Then everyone, wait here first. The century soup takes about two hours to complete. Quote. I'll go make it now. Everyone nodded. Song said nothing more and turned to go to the kitchen. After he left, Baru suddenly received a call. Hello. Is it done? Okay, I got it. After hanging up the phone, he said to everyone excitedly. Everyone, while the century soup is not cooked yet. Are you interested in going to my house for some appetizers before soup? Of course, no one would refuse such an invitation. Champa's eyes lit up and he said decisively. Appetizers. That's good. Baru looked at everyone again, what about you? No one answered, but looked at Su Ming, and let him decide. Coming to this world, they can't make their own decisions. Because if they don't listen, they may be kicked out by Su Ming. Su Ming said slowly. Okay, since Song said it will take another two hours. Then let's go. Su Ming also wanted to know what appetizers Aru would give them. Aru stood up from his chair and said with a smile. Okay, I'll go talk to Song." Everyone nodded. Aru immediately went to Song. Tell them that they were going to visit Aru's house. Wait until Song makes the century soup and then call them. Soon, Baru returned to Su Ming and the others and said. Then everyone, let's go. Then everyone left the hotel. They all flew, with Aru leading the way. It only took a few minutes to reach Aru's home. Or rather, it's a luxurious super dessert house. Just like the original. This house is mostly made of desserts and delicacies. Everyone was amazed when they arrived in front of the dessert house. Champa and the others were even more envious. Is this your home? Champa's eyes were hot and he had already swallowed his saliva. This dessert house is built for a super foodie like him. Uru nodded slightly, also with an enthusiastic look on his face. It seems that everything has been completed. That guy is getting more and more efficient. Everyone didn't understand what Uru meant by this, but didn't ask. Uru invited everyone at this time. Let's go, everyone, welcome to my house. Then he led everyone into the door made of chocolate. As soon as you enter the house, you can smell the fragrance of various delicacies. But most of them are desserts. For example, honey, chocolate, cream, cake, cheese, etc. It can be said that it is a collection of all desserts. Entering the house, everyone's appetite opened. They never thought that someone would use food to build such a house. Ah la la. Champa's face was full of enthusiasm, as if he had opened the door to a new world. These, are all edible, right? Baru scratched his head, his face a little solemn, indeed, they are edible. Fit. Before he could finish the rest of the sentence. 
he saw Champa standing beside the stair railing. Then he started to eat the chocolate railing. It's really good, delicious. After tasting the first bite, he couldn't stop. He started to eat like crazy. Crackling. In less than a minute, a big gap appeared in the railing. This also made everyone speechless. This is someone else's home. Are you so polite? Although he complained in his heart. But seeing Champa eating so enthusiastically and enjoying it so much. They were also eager to move. I want to eat too. Son Goku couldn't sit still anymore. He walked directly to the door of a room and broke off the door handle made of fructose. He put it in his mouth and took a big bite and chewed it. Hmm. He ate with gusto. After eating the door handle, he directly dismantled the door. Then he continued to eat. His expression was very enjoyable, delicious, delicious, delicious. This made everyone greedy. However, everyone was still well-mannered and did not directly participate. Then Wiz smiled and said to Uru. Mr. Uru, can we also eat with our feet? Uru hesitated, and finally nodded. Yes, yes. In fact, he invited everyone here not to let everyone eat his house. Instead, he would give them some delicious food that he had captured with great difficulty before. But now it seems that he can't stop it. The house is gone, but it can be rebuilt. As long as friends are happy. After getting the consent, Wiss and others showed joy. Thank you, 653. Then I'm going to eat. After Wiss finished speaking, he immediately went to the dining table next to him. The dining table was made of cheese, which also contained a lot of honey. Wiss was not polite at all and took a bite. The golden and tempting honey burst out from the corner of his mouth. He chewed a few times. Suddenly, he showed a face of enjoyment. Delicious. 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 He praised while chewing. Clint and others could not sit still. They attacked the furniture made of desserts in the room. Dining table, chairs, bed, door, etc. And these things are delicious. They are also high-end desserts bought by Uru at a high price. Looking at the fierce attack of the crowd, Uru's face became solemn. Although he had agreed to let these people eat. But he didn't expect these people to be so crazy. In a few minutes, the house was in ruins. It's really like the eating habits of mice. But these people didn't care too much. The desserts here have captured their taste buds. They attacked fiercely one by one. There was no way, Uru could not beat them, so he had to join. If he didn't join, there would be nothing left. And with his joining, the whole house was being eaten faster. At first, it was just some furniture. Now, even the walls were eaten. What's more, Champa even dismantled the toilet and started to eat it fiercely. Although it was just a dessert. But after all, it looked like a toilet, and this guy was really good at eating it. Not only was it good, but it tasted so good. Delicious, delicious. Words of praise kept coming out of everyone's mouth. And under their fierce attack, the house began to fall apart. No wall was intact. Even the main beams were destroyed. The whole house could collapse at any time. However, they still didn't care. The attack did not decrease, but became more and more fierce. Just like silkworms eating mulberry leaves, the speed was amazing. And they didn't worry about eating too much. Because with the help of sour plum rain, they couldn't eat enough. About an hour later, the house finally couldn't withstand the attack and collapsed. This made them stop temporarily. Looking at the collapsed dessert house, Uru shook his head slightly and felt helpless. It was only less than an hour after it was built, and it was gone. He even regretted inviting these guys to be guests. Let you come as guests, you destroyed the house. However, despite such complaints. But he didn't really care. Since it has come to this, let's just let the storm come more violently. He said to the paused people generously. Don't worry, just eat. If the house is gone, we can rebuild it. Hearing this, they felt a little guilty. Now it's completely gone, and Son Goku said. Is that so? I won't be polite then. I won't be polite either. Champa looked fanatical and excited. Ah, rebuild it. That's great. I hope it will be bigger next time, with more food. It will be more delicious that way. Uru's face drooped. You built this one, and it's not enough. You want to build a bigger one. You are really generous. But whether your heart is generous or not, it can't stop the offensive of the crowd. Next, the offensive of the crowd became more fierce. The ruins were all stuffed into their mouths. 
If you eat too much, you drink sour plum rain, and this is the reaction. You won't feel sick or full, a ruthless devourer. Time passed quickly, and another hour passed. The house was completely devoured. Only a desolate piece of land remained. This forced them to stop devouring. After all, they couldn't eat even the dirt. Seeing the dessert house that had disappeared. A sense of desolation passed through Aru's heart. On the contrary, everyone was very satisfied. Ah, so comfortable. Champa lay on his back on the grass, feeling extremely satisfied. And the moment he lay down. Not far away, there was a wolf-like beast, dragging an unknown pig-like beast in its mouth and rushing towards him. This made most people alert. Champa even stood up directly, his eyes burning. That guy, looks delicious too. Now, as long as he sees a beast and thinks it's edible, he thinks it's delicious, similar to Netero. As he spoke, he raised his finger. He was about to fire energy to kill the rushing wolf. But Uru stopped him with a nervous look, wait a minute, don't. Champa and the others looked at Uru. Uru explained, that wolf is my partner. Champa put down his hand, but was a little disappointed. In his opinion, this wolf is also delicious. It's a pity that he didn't get to eat it. But since it's Aru's pet, he can't kill it. He ate someone's house and now he has to kill someone's pet, which is a bit unreasonable. Seeing Champa put down his hand, Aru breathed a sigh of relief. At this moment, Terry also came in front of him. Terry looked at everyone, but was very alert. Aru touched Terry's head and smiled. Don't be nervous Terry, they are all my friends. Quote. Then he looked at the ground and saw the beast that looked like a pig that Terry brought back. He recognized it at a glance, this is, a crab pig. Hearing this strange and novel name, Champa asked curiously, why is the name so strange? And this guy doesn't look like a crab. What a strange name. Everyone nodded and agreed. This pig has nothing to do with crabs, why would it be named like this? Uru explained. Although there is no trace of crabs. But its meat is similar to crabs, so it got the name. After this explanation, everyone was relieved. I see. Champa looked as if he had suddenly realized something, and asked again. Then the meat of this guy must be delicious, right? Uru nodded slightly, it's okay, it's a good delicacy. Champa's eyes were burning, then let's eat it. I feel uncomfortable when I see it, let's destroy it. Good guy, this reason also made everyone speechless. Are you upset with him or are you greedy for him? Okay, I haven't eaten for a while. Let me feel the taste again today. Uru didn't refuse, after all, he is also a super foodie. Eat wherever you go. This is his normal operation. Getting the agreement, Champa was also very happy. Okay, hurry up and do it. Yeah, Uru nodded, and then said to Terry. Terry, thank you for bringing back the food. Terry nodded slightly, indicating that it was nothing. Then he licked Uru's arm. Uru also smiled and touched Terry's head again. Then he started to process the crab pig and divided it into pieces of meat. Then he set up a fire and roasted it directly. Roast the meat, and don't let go of the bones. Get a big iron pot, put oil, and fry it. After a while, the fragrance was overflowing. A strong smell of pork and seafood drifted into everyone's nose. Good, so fragrant. Everyone swallowed unconsciously, and couldn't wait. After about 10 minutes, the cooking was finally completed. Uru looked at everyone and said with a smile. Everyone, it's time to eat. Everyone who couldn't wait for a long time nodded. Then I won't be polite. Champa squeezed directly in front of the barbecue and picked up a large skewer. Under the gaze of everyone, he took a bite. The gravy splashed, and his pupils suddenly widened. And then he chewed. The sweetness of high-grade crab meat, plus the refreshing and non-greasy fat of pork, fused into a superior taste, which directly made the cells dance. Delicious. 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 After swallowing, Champa's first feeling. Although it is not as good as gem meat and netero meat. But it is also okay, it is still a delicacy. And this delicacy has the taste of seafood, which can be regarded as opening Champa's understanding of seafood. He has never eaten such delicious seafood. Look at him eating so fragrantly. Son Goku and his men naturally couldn't sit still. They all attacked the roasted meat. Without exception. They were all shocked and had a new understanding of seafood. I didn't expect there was such delicious meat in the world. It's so delicious. It didn't take long at all. 
They finished cooking the meat of this crab pig weighing several tons. After cooking the meat, they continued to focus on the bones fried in the pan. The bones of the crab pig itself are also a good ingredient. After being fried, they are golden and crispy. It looks very appetizing. And they will definitely not let go of such appetizing bones. It took less than 10 minutes to cook these bones. But they still wanted more. Champa licked his fingers, it's really delicious. But it's a little bit less, if there are dozens more, it would be nice. He said it without any sense of disobedience. This made everyone speechless. Does this guy have no concept of numbers? He often has dozens or thousands of heads. Does he really think everything is cabbage? Champa had no idea about the complaints of everyone about him. After licking his hands clean, he looked at Terry beside Uru and smiled maliciously. I think you look delicious, otherwise what are you going to give us to eat? The air suddenly became quiet. Terry was so scared that he stepped back and hid behind Uru. It was speechless. I've never seen someone who wants to eat someone and asks for their consent. In fact, it's not just it that is speechless. Su Ming and others are also speechless. Every time this guy does something, they are surprised. They can't figure out his brain circuit. Sometimes they think. What did this guy rely on to become gods of destruction? Could it be that it was this feature that attracted the attention of Grand Priest and Zeno? The air was quiet for a while. Uru looked solemn and hesitant. Elephant. Lord Champa, Terry's meat is not tasty at all. You'd better not think about it. Terry behind him also stuck his head out and nodded in agreement. It means that it really doesn't taste good. Champa gave up the idea and dug his ear with his little finger, saying, Okay, since it doesn't taste good, forget it. However, if there are delicacies like crab pigs in the future, you should bring more back. Terry also nodded obediently. It is actually afraid of Champa. Because Champa makes it feel very powerful. Especially when Champa stares at it, it feels that its body cannot move, as if it is imprisoned by some force, and its soul is trembling. Facing such a terrible existence, it can only be soft. Or so to say. Champa makes it feel like blood suppression. Seeing Terry nod obediently, Champa looked at Uru again and said. Is the century soup not ready yet? We've already eaten the appetizer, so the main course should be next. Uru was also surprised. Three hours had passed. And Xiaosong said that the century soup could be made in about two hours. But until now, he still hadn't received a call from Xiaosong. And just as he had this thought, Xiaosong called. Hello, is this Mr. Uru? It's me, Xiaosong. Is the century soup ready? It's ready, Mr. Uru. Let everyone come over and drink it. Be quick. The century soup is more delicious when it's just made. Okay, I'll go with everyone now. Hang up the phone without telling Su Ming and the others. They all knew that it was Xiaosong who called. They also knew that the century soup they had been thinking about was ready. Then everyone, let's go. Everyone nodded, and then Su Ming used instant transmission took them there. Swish. They disappeared from the spot. When they reappeared, they were already in the restaurant where they often ate at the Igo Hotel. Not long after they arrived, Xiaosong came in with a food cart. With a smile on his face, he said to everyone. Sorry to have kept you waiting for a long time. Because there was an accident on the way, it took a little longer. I'm really sorry. But everyone didn't care about this at all. In other words. They didn't wait at all. Because the time they waited was used to make a ruse dessert and a crab pig that Terry brought back. It's okay, Xiaosong, the soup is ready. Come on, Uru said to Xiaosong. Everyone nodded, indicating that they were not in a hurry. Xiaosong also nodded in response, and pushed the dining cart to the dining table. Then he placed the container of century soup in the middle of the table. Under the expectant gaze of everyone, Xiaosong said. Then everyone, I'm going to open it. Then he stretched out his hand and opened the lid of the container. The moment it was opened, the hot air rose up, and the hot air formed a colorful aurora. And the fragrance that came out was even more intoxicating. In an instant, the body and mind were completely relaxed. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.